the Skype. It wasn't in the Google Plus. Oh. Yeah, it's in the it's in it the is there, Sarah. Yeah, That's it how is I there. got here through Google. Google Plus. It's there it too. It's on Hukolo one and Hukolo uh, two, I believe. Maybe yes. I need to become friends with Hukolo one and two then. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I get these things <laughs> randomly and I never know which one it is. So I thought I added you to those. No, apparently because I, I find that other people get on different links and I'm and I don't get invited from those links on Google Plus. If I see a link on the the Skype that I just created the account for, that's where I find it. But I don't get it on my who my um, Google Plus. So I yeah, have I to become friends. Any, anybody anybody that is not on Hukula One or Hukula Two, please send me a little message. Yeah, I don't think I'm on Hukula One or Two. Okay. I thought I was, but I don't get any invitations, so I'm not Sabri really sure. Sabrina, anymore. can you check mine too on all three of them? Because I'm not sure if I'm on okay. all three of them. Yeah. All right, let me see. You need to have the Hangout plugin to get the messages from people. Okay, mm. let me check Coca-Cola one. Uh, Roof is definitely in the Hukule uh, one. Okay, well, I, uh, I, I see. I see you part of that. Okay. Well, maybe the email doesn't work, everybody. I have no idea. I also no, it's yeah. not an email. It just goes in there, and yeah. you try to look at it. That's all. Yeah, it's not email. We we just have to go there and look at it, and then. I got um, you. Sorry, um, you just got added uh, to the group. Oh, perfect! Thank you. So if I write something. The link again. You get it. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it just popped up. <laughs> oh, good. Yes. yes. Finally. Finally. Yay. Sarah, Sarah, you might regret that because you'll hear the. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, I don't mind that. It's it's no. actually very soothing. And so. then I hear it like on my tablet and my phone, and they synchronize. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so it goes do 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 do. It's almost like hearing Arcturian, right? To to rakat na rakto sunu krato to to ruwa rakke na rakke sunu krato to to ruwa sunu krato to 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 like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Gabriel, yours is coming through really good. Yeah. Your yeah. language. I was so embarrassed. Why? <laughs> I can't play He's that not game. Don't be embarrassed. It's awesome. Uh, I can't speak anything now because of my daughter's here, and I don't want to figure out. So. <laughs> Is it Naomi? Yes. Yeah, no, no. I'm, well, tell Naomi I'm, we all say hello. Hello. Okay. Tell Naomi, woo-ha. Woo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Another cute okay. guy. But not, not <laughs> tell her to join sometimes if she wants. She said you can join. Anytime, yes. Yeah. You want to join? No. Did anyway, she says, she says thank no. you and hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. She has to go to work in a, soon, so yeah. Mm. But thank you. Yeah. So. Is she doing better now, or? No roof. Lagged out. Mm. Um, guys. A heads up for tomorrow. I am setting up a language gym, one at 12.30 and one at 2.30 okay. in order to accommodate um, everybody, um, plus the time. You know, different people are available different because of our different time zones. So I'm setting up one for 12.30 and one for 2.30. So that um, we can fit everyone. 
-hmm. So that's I've been trying to type that, but then um, I'm talking to Gabriel, and then I'm talking to <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina. You were the one who wanted a hangout. <laughs> yes, and then I yeah I requested the hangout from Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm multitasking in my brain. That's why I'm, all the words that I'm typing are coming out wrong. So how's everybody doing? Good. Great. Very good. Tony the Tiger. I know. Um, Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary, I had a question yeah. for you. When we oh. were talking... Um. Oh, the name of 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 the person they said you were following. Can you type it in here? Okay, let me see. Yeah, actually, I might know who you're talking about, but I want to see. Uh, I guess I don't. Rem I'm not very good with names. I I think this is how uh the way. Is not Arcturian yeah. ant, is it? What do you mean, Arcturian ant? Uh, his uh, name on, on YouTube. Oh no, his name is Antonio Cori. Oh, it's it's the one of the uh, isn't it the IL? Yes. I think um, yeah. yesterday or uh, during the um, oh Saturday's uh, webinar with Jim and Max. I remember they were talking about that. It was uh, right. a real powerful EIL. And uh, yeah. he comes through and he has tremendous ability. He said he's very, very talented, multi-talented. And yeah. he uh, <clears throat> he's working with her directly on the, on the colony also. Uh, no, but he, because what you're talking about, um, how do you spell... Uh, Gustavo. Vishal, yeah. Gustavo. Is it Vistavo with a B? I don't think I don't think it's it is just S. I don't think is S. I think it's Sh Gustavo. Gush Gustavo. The way I heard it the way I heard it was telepathically was Gustavo. And some members they they're they're telling me uh, Gustavo. Mm, but it's not Gustavo. It's Gustavo. Um, I don't know. Maybe Gustavo is is more uh, familiar. Uh, it's got a more familiar sound to to them. That's why they um, pronounce it Gustavo. They think it's Gustavo, but no, it's not Gustavo. Yeah, and Mary, you 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 got you received confirmation though the other day on the webinar about that. that that's the one um, that was. Yeah, in the colony. What? Oh, I'm well, sorry. Um, I think Sabrina is. Um, go ahead, Sabrina. What is in your mind? Tell me. No, 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 no. Um, I was trying to find the 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 Antonio, uh, and I can't find it. Cory. How do you, how do you spell that? Q U R. I believe Q U R R I. I haven't gone to his uh, YouTube channel, uh, YouTube site, um, uh, but I think it's Q U R R I, something like that. Corey, Antonio Corey. Mm -hmm. And he is Arcaterian, uh, Arcaterian Ant, A N T, on YouTube. Oh, oh he is Arcaterian Ant. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is so Arcaterian Ant on YouTube. Okay, so then it is the one that I thought. Okay, oh, yeah, I, I know. Yes, he does look like my son. You're correct. Oh my gosh, they look like yes. twin brothers. Yes, <laughs> he does look like my son. Um, uh, probably, uh, aren't they, How old is your son? Maybe they're the same age. Um. See. He turned. He's seventeen. He just turned seventeen. I think. Uh, I think Antonio is seventeen too. Oh, oh, they're twins. <laughs> Sabrina, are, are you meeting all your children in the colonies? 
<laughs> no. Well, um, remember we had talked about my dream, and I guess I I am. Uh, I, I talked to Lakesh, and it seems that, yeah, it was about a hybrid, about having a Yael hybrid, which I was surprised, um, you know, since since I identify more with the other ones, but... I um, I meant your children here on Earth. Do you go with them to the colonies? Oh, yes, my son... My son goes, and I, I'm sure I probably have gone with him because I have many dreams where he's with me. He's he's a lot of times he's with me that I tell him, I see you every day, and then I go to sleep and I have to see you there also. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so we go on adventures together, the two of us. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And my dad goes to the colonies too. <laughs> and he had had a nightmare the uh, oh. day after, apparently. It should be said that he, he has dreams with massive spaceships. Oh. oh. Well, you're going to have to get a mic because we want to hear your story. Yeah, we want to get to know you. Yeah, yeah. because I'm not, uh, I'm not good at reading the chat box because... Uh, it goes quick, fast. I also have one. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. You gotta get yourself a mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that we can hear your story. So, yeah, Sabrina, uh, mm -hmm. tell me. Oh. The, I wrote. <laughs> What's that? What is that? that that's a new language. The free. <laughs> She come out, come out, free, come out, come out, come out, zero, 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 what is that? <laughs> No, I press, I was cleaning my uh, my keyboard and then I tried to get something away and then I wrote that and then I published that. That would be pretty, like, crazy to, if that's a language, that's funny. <laughs> Just basically, oh, I pro programmed Why were you fighting? So, Mary, oh yeah. What, me, what were you saying? Um. Okay. Well, uh, past one month in a dream, I was uh, fighting a. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was. Um, I was gonna ask you. What do you? Uh, can you tune in to Gustavo's energy? Oh, I don't know. You wanna I, try? I I haven't. I haven't tried. Why? Um, to just get some confirmation. Oh, from him. But you, you, you are doing beautifully. You, for, from you. him and every for, for him from him and um for us for me and everybody else. Because the thing is that I'm not able to um to relay uh, the messages. For some reason, you know, I, uh, you know, like, like, you know, I explained earlier to Brian and everybody else. But, um, but I was just wondering. Oh, okay. So, so were you able to speak? Is that what you're saying that you weren't able? See, I wasn't there when you when you were channeling, so I don't know what went on. Yeah, we, ha we have a recording of that. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, well I'll just okay. tell you in the summary that, um, and also Sarah knows that. Um, mm -hmm. Just he he just wanted me to uh, get used to uh, his uh, energy and uh, his vibration, and um, so he's right now he's working uh, with me on that part. Uh, so this is uh, this is probably the beginning. Of uh, you know, for him trans uh, transmitting more uh, information, uh, but right now I guess he he ju he's just um, trying to get me, mm, you know, get get used to his energy. Yeah, and all so. and also like you know when I was uh, channeling <laughs> when I was channeling. Um, 
people keep asking me qu question, and they were like bombarding me with question. I guess they were excited that I, you know, I was I started channeling <laughs> during the meditation, and um, I just couldn't. I mean, I, I really, I mean, it was just too overwhelming for me. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. It's okay. You get there. Yeah, yeah. I just have to, you know, practice more. And, and yeah. uh, Mary, like on these these hangouts and stuff, if you prefer doing that, you know, off air to practice, just practice mm -hmm. with someone that you feel comfortable yeah. with. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yes. Yeah, and it, it comes to me during meditation usually. You know, when I when I sit by myself and quiet, you know, my mind, um, and, then then it come to me. And it also will trigger with other people's questions also. When you feel that deep, you know, to speak and it just comes up without, you know, trying to figure it out and you let go, then it starts to come out more and more of the channeling. Right. It's from other people's questions. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. It's like a trigger. Yeah, trigger. When, when you ask a question yourself, then you're doubting your question before you ask the question that you can't get the answer. But mm -hmm. if you're allowing another person's question to come, then yeah. you have nothing of that question belongs to you. Right. And it's it comes just that, out easier. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just that I'm, uh, you know, I'm not, um, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, you know, it started last week and um, all of this is new to me. People, um, Asking questions and even the you know the energy is new to me, so I guess it takes time. Yeah, yeah. I I found out that you know with others on here that it really does speed up the process when we work together as groups or Definitely. just like one on one. You know what I mean? That's right, you know, right. With somebody, it triggers mm -hmm. and activates, and right. it does speed up the process a little bit more. So yes. Yeah, you are exactly right, and I think that's why I'm hooked up with this <laughs> hangout. <laughs> I'm like every day. I mean, I have tons of work to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, put it aside. Who cares? It'll get I done. I know. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> that's what I say. The bills will be paid some other day. Who cares? <laughs> you know, Brian. But you're pretty done. Brian, but you have a nice Minecraft. Uh, Shine to pay your bills. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna have my kids pay my bills for now. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, you know what uh, Jim said the the other Saturday. He said, but I, you know, you guys are right, but I don't think my la my <coughs> my landlord appreciate that. <laughs> when, when 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 we have to pay him, when he has to pay his landlord. <laughs> yes. I don't have a landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. I don't have a landlord either, but I have the IRS. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> and we get away from 3D. It's yeah. <laughs> it's too much 3D. Yeah, it's too much 3D going on here. Those of you without those of you without landlords can donate to those of us with landlords. How's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I used to be my old. I used to own an apartment in Germany, and then I moved to America. And eventually, I had to sell it because there was a, a lien on it from the from a lawyer. So eventually, I had to sell, or I'd end up owing her like half of what you know the apartment was worth. And you know, I just ended up using it for different stuff. Gave gave some of it away. Gave it to you know my kids. Blah blah blah. And now I'm just that's it. I've <laughs> Almost nothing left. Oh well, wow. poor me. So, please yeah. donate to me. I'm a good cause. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm we will kidding. survive. We will survive, no matter what. <laughs> well, please yes. don't donate to my to my trip to Hawaii. I told you what you had to do with that, Gabriel. Manifest yourself and take it. Go to Hawaii. You're gonna have okay. to ride the dolphins. He's bothering everybody with that, and I'm telling him what he has to do. <laughs> the dolphins and the whales will take it. Yeah, that's where he wants to go. Hawaii. Wow. Yeah. I told him to begin imagining everybody on the street that he walks by is giving him a ticket. There is that's a special. 
I lived in Hawaii for seven for seven months. There is a special group of people who I knew who went out every single morning and swam with the dolphins. And they said once you start swimming with dolphins, your consciousness changes. And then you just gravitate towards other people who swim with dolphins just because your mind is in a different place. And they had so many amazing experiences. And they had a this one guy had a house right on the water. And he would have in Hawaii they are the Westerners and, and the Hawaiians, they have a lot of potlucks because mm -hmm. everything's high, everything is hilly, and it's sometimes impossible to visit people because they live just so, you can't get your car up there. So people tend to have potlucks in certain places, and then they all come and they gather and they sing and they eat and they get high, and whatever they do, <laughs> they go to the dolphins, mm -hmm. and then they disperse again, and it's pretty interesting. But wow. you will find them, Gabriel. They're in, they're in um, Kona. Mm. I, I can find out who it is if you if you really make it to Hawaii and you go to Kona, uh, Gabriel. I can tell you who to contact to to get with the dolphins. Very well. That's cool. Yeah, you. very good, Gabriel. No, no, I have that. Yeah, you're one step closer. Yeah, if they can give me like free food, free visit, <laughs> stay there. <laughs> free can, food. Then I can just I can afford going there and back, but not do, doing any trip there and stuff like that. Or Yeah, I, I've heard of places where it's kind of like a work program where if you work a certain amount of hours a day, they'll, they'll, um, they'll feed you and give you a place to stay. Really? Yeah, I told him about that. He said he checked into all sorts of programs. I said there are programs that will basically pay you to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it was not that we talked about. We talked about studying there. Oh, okay. You can do anything. You can intern there. You can yeah. work there. You can study there. You can, you know. Hey, uh, on top of that, you can meet beautiful women there. Yeah. You're breaking up. I have to marry uh, an American person to uh, if I want to stay in America. It's so hard from Sweden to uh, live in America for a long period of time mm -hmm. because the rules are so complicated. So then I have to stay there illegally. But you can stay America. for three months at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Gabriel, but, but, uh, go, go I first. can marry some of you. Some of you. Sorry, I'm taken. Some of you, he says. He wants Gabriel. more than one. Gabriel, <laughs> oh God, getting in between these ladies is amazing. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel, go first live in Mexico, and then you just come into America. Nobody stops the Mexicans from coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. well. <laughs> yeah, the one way to get a green card from Sweden really is <laughs> you have to be very educated and if you want to get a job uh, the working place have to prove that there's nobody in America that can do the same work that you're going to do mm -hmm. yeah. that's correct and or that I have to marry a uh, American person. Well, but, how old are you, Gabriel? Gabriel but that takes a lot of time. Or or you go and study in America. Then it can get easier. But 21. Oh. You, you're 21? Yeah. But I'm not oh. really planning to stay. Oh, well, I have a, you know, I have a very nice daughter. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wow. <laughs> she's, uh, uh, she's Italian and American. Oh. So if you married her, you could live in, in Europe anywhere because she's part of the EU. She has an Italian passport. And you can That's live in America. Cool. <laughs> she of course, she'd kill, right. she'd kill me if she knew I was volunteering her. Exactly. <laughs> You're volunteering her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> It is like the worst. <laughs> well, you know, in the old days, it used to be like that. You're going to marry this man. I don't care what do you say. 
He's a good man. You marry him and shut up and sit down. <laughs> no, we're joking. We're just joking. No, you were very serious about that, right? <laughs> make, sure she, make sure she sees this video. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. I once there was one guy who asked me when I was living in San Francisco if I would marry him so he could stay in America. This was years ago, and I asked him for too much money. He said, "Forget it." <laughs> I said. Oh, you can't. I said, it's a big risk for me. What if you don't want to divorce me after six months, you know? Then I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. yeah. I was asked by an Egyptian to marry him so he could stay. I said, oh, no. <laughs> wow. I just said, oh, no, off the bat. Just like, uh-uh, not happening. Because I don't know what he will do or, you know, what his life is like and things like that. I, I just don't, I don't. No. And I can only imagine my mother looking at me like, you married who? <laughs> well, maybe he was a sheik. You don't know. Could He could have been a very... No, rich. he was a drum player. He plays the doom tack. Oh, okay. That's what he did for his living. In Hawaii? No, in, in Miami. That is... <laughs> He's no uh, important person. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Only the <in> Hawaii. <laughs> no. But but, uh, but the Hawaiian people that's living next to the heart chakras have very like big control over the earth because they are living next to vortexes. Yeah. Yeah. Some some places on Earth. Those people live there have so much power power over over other people on Earth. I don't but think they, it's they, power they, over the, people. It's no, kind of like, but but they don't know it. You mean influence? Influence? Um, yeah, in, uh, the, the collect collective. Um, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It's, what, an it's only something I read. Awesome. Yeah. But awesome. they don't. They don't know that they are doing that. It's our collective shows that they are going to be there anyway. So exactly. And do they really? Need to know? Yeah. It's okay. Mm. That's powerful. Gabriel, hey you're gonna make it to Hawaii. Don't worry. Because it's on your mind constantly. You're attracting it to yourself. The Arizona is also a huge vortex. Yes. Me, a lot me, of people me, me and Jim is somehow going to get to Hawaii and swim with the dolphin together. <laughs> I think uh, oh, we in Sedona. Yeah. Uh, Daryl Inca's group also um, has, uh, I think every year, twice a year, they have like a um, what they call pods that they actually uh, take groups of people and go to mm -hmm. I think it's called Hawaii and they do stuff yeah. they with the dolphins. Yeah, I told him he should probably join that group because it's a more powerful interaction because mm -hmm. um, uh, Bashar is actually, he actually has a really strong connection to dolphins as he tells you and so they do some sort of I don't know, like he mills with their mind or something or other. Yeah, but, but Bashar, <laughs> uh, their anchor is not there. He, they have pre-recorded. Yes, I know. So, but they go uh, twice a year, though. That's the point, and, and that's what you wife, want to do. His wife, his wife, April is doing that. April, yeah. Yeah, yeah April does that, but he goes well, with them sometimes. One or that's two. I, yeah. yeah. No, Bashar, Bashar has, has no. Their anchor has never went together in that group. Their anchor is so busy. No, I thought he does a meditation with them before yeah, they go. Yeah, a recorded meditation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Gabriel is right. It's a recording. It's a recording? Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. But it's ah. ver very expensive to go there. I will have to pay double my money that I have now. <laughs> so... Uh, it would be a lot cheaper just going there and swimming with the dolphin. 
yourself, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> who knows? But you guys, we can meditate now and then imagine that we are all in Hawaii. That's what we <laughs> did yesterday too. We we were doing that, and Gabriel kept stopping it because he's like, "I want to get there physically." I said, "You can transport yourself there physically. You just have to think about it and, and right. manifest and yourself there." Yeah, and it's less expensive. <laughs> And it's less expensive. There's no money involved. You don't have to worry about that. And you probably enjoy more. Exactly. You don't have to drag your exactly. You don't have to drag your physics. <laughs> as long as he knows how to get back, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest way is to find someone who knows me and wants me to visit them in Hawaii, so I can live together with them and eat with them and stuff. So I don't have to pay. You're putting a lot of obstacles in your path, Gabriel. No, the, that's an opportunity. No, you, you're, you're literally... All these, all these things that you have in your mind about money and about food and about um, where you're going to stay, those are obstacles in your mind that you're actually using to block yourself off from the reality that you can go there, that you can manifest yourself there. Yeah, I know, but it's much funnier with the <laughs> money. Slowly, slowly move in that direction and you're going to start to see synchronicity take place. Yeah. Big time. You just slowly put your foot, one foot in front of the other and just keep going and you'll slowly move in that direction, you know? Yes. Let me tell you this, Gabriel. Whenever I went to another country, I didn't worry about food, how I'm going to pay for food, how I'm going to pay for uh, a place to stay, or who am I going to be around. None of that mattered to me. The only thing is get there. You're going to have a place to stay. You're going to have a place to get around. But the thing is, uh, I need to make sure I know a couple of words in their language so I can get around even easier. If I'm hungry, where's the bathroom, where's that the sort bathroom? of thing. Yep. All that other stuff just does not matter. Do you understand? You speak English. That's the only thing you need to know. You speak English. <laughs> the only thing you need to do is get there and everything else will fall into place. I okay? speak Actoria. No. You also speak English. <laughs> and the Hawaiians speak English. Who, who went in with the other hookulu shot? Like I don't that. know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm English. sorry, my bad. This is hey, yeah. sorry. Hi. Yeah. Hello. I'll try not to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yeah, is that rowing? Is that rowing? No. It's Dan. Oh, it's Dan. Hi, Dan. Hello. How are you going? Hello, you have Dan. To... How are you? I'm um, pretty, pretty good now. Yeah, awesome. Okay. What do you need to remove from the link so you don't lo log in? It's a link. I force you to log in. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, up to a question mark by a bit that says off user. Yeah, you remove that. Not the question mark. Right. Yeah, you, you leave the question mark. <clears throat> But I've already I've already signed in with it now, so it's a bit. But it's later. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then you you doing like this instead. Then that is better. Yeah, the second one. So what's been what's been the topics today then? Marrying someone in order to get to another country. <laughs> okay. Understanding that you absolutely need nothing except you when traveling to another country. And knowing a couple of words in their language. And everything else will smooth itself out. Yeah, just go with the flow. Yeah. I, I'm already there. <laughs> Say what? I'm already there. You're already there. That's exactly what you need to know. 
you're already there. Perfect. Now, anyone else has anything to say? <laughs> In a dream last night, I, channel I channeled Gollum from Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, I saw that. How was it? Oh, it was, uh, it was a bit weird. Uh, Did you go, precious? That's actually the part that made me start to go a bit weird, because <laughs> there, there was somebody watching me. And then... <laughs> Precious was watching you. As soon as I said that, they were like, "No, no, it's not you. It's you're taking it." And I was like, I started kind of rolling around on the floor, going mental, kind of. And it was it was a very strange experience, but yeah. So sometime yeah. in the future, I might channel Gollum. Dan, do you have a ring? I actually do not. That's good. <laughs> That's probably why I can't do the voice very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! That's pretty, oh. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a it was a strange first dream channeling, but hopefully, hopefully the the next uh, actual channelings should go a bit smoother. Mhm. Mm yeah, they're Dream gonna channeling. Have, That's they're going to have to hire you in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> You're precious. Pretty cool. No, I think the guy that did it before did it much better than I can. <laughs> he, he was pro. Yeah. <laughs> he played the part completely. Yeah, he played the part, definitely. That was beautifully done, actually. Yeah, we were talking also with uh, um, Mary is bringing through some energy um, uh, from a, I believe, from a Yael. So it's oh, yeah, I, I started to watch about Gustavo. Yeah. Is that, was that his name? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, uh, it's more pronounced like Gustavo. Oh, okay. Gustavo. That's, that's what I heard. Uh, him saying telepathically to me. Okay. But um, I don't know. I mean, I need more practice. No, it sounded like you already had it. <clears throat> yeah, I was saying that uh, probably you know uh, it, it's my limitation that uh, it took me this long to match you know kind of like you know my vibration to him. He probably wanted to contact me sooner, but uh, I wasn't able to, or I wasn't ready for this contact up up to last week. You know. It's all right. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure he time. understands that it all takes time for you to get to that point. Right. But at least at least you're you're pretty much there now, so it's yes. not going to be as difficult the next times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm kind of you know um, surprised of myself <laughs> that I went ahead and did it. <laughs> Mary, when you feel that energy around you, that's the thing is um, you're ready. I believe it's just because when you feel it that strongly, it's there. It's just people ask you questions now. It's 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 opening up. It'll open up more as the mm -hmm. question. Um, you know, <laughs> right? And I think that's I think that's also the purpose of this channeling. Yes. That uh, we we're, we're all raising our vibration um, to be able to bring this uh, new. Um, how do I say it? It's a it's a uh, skill, power and skill uh, that is all been into us but now that we are raising it up so we can match the vibration and you know be able to do this channeling um, at least you know for me and you know some other people uh, yeah do you, that's do you get excited about the possibility of really uh, channeling yourself yes that's wonderful Yes, it's it's all about um, a a different vibration. 
Yes. It's it's like how do I uh, how do I use this? Um, it's like I guess it's like fi um, um, finding uh, or meeting a new uh, friend um, coming into your life and is is come is is going to be a part of you. Um, so I guess this is this is going to be a, a part of a, my reality. Uh, yes, you're integrating right now. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm currently trying to get over a fear because I'm really excited by the concept of channeling, and I really, really like the, <clears throat> the energy that comes through. But I'm still a little bit scared of it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I mean, me too. Like, like, um, what was it yesterday? I, I can't even believe that I did it. Especially front of, front of. I mean, I know it's, um, it was live. I know that we are not sitting, um, you know, right ne uh, in front of each other and do the channeling. But um, still, uh, I had the courage. Uh, to to do it, so okay. I'm I'm happy for for myself <laughs> for doing that. Hey guys, I feel the need to speak something out. Um, even though I'm trying, well, not trying to. Even though I am integrating the Naga aspect of myself, I find that it's not fear, but a little bit of it is, that I don't want to say it outside anymore as I'm walking because I'm afraid that I'm not there yet to be able to handle snakes. Because remember I told you it popped out on me? Yes. Um. And I'm not sure if I am at the point where I can handle them just yet. And so yeah. I find that I am actually Thanks stopping too. myself from speaking when I go on my walks now. I don't think that's what's calling the snake. I think you're, you're, made, you're creating the snakes as like a... to get over your phobia, to kind of get over your... Your kind of scaredness of snakes. You create the situation so that you can overcome the fear. But I don't think the the speaking the language is directly bringing them to you, unless you actually. No, snake. I don't. I don't really make the intention to bring the snake, which is why I'm not. I thought it was the language. <sighs> But if, but if you, f but follow your heart. So whatever you think yeah. you should do at the moment, then then I would recommend you do that. And once you feel comfortable, that you feel a little more confident again, then then you know allow it again and see how you feel and just keep doing that. You know, don't run away from it, but but also. Um, get more power within you in order to accept what is happening to you and then try it again. That would be what I would recommend. Yeah. And another thought popped into my head on my walk today that um, this new entity that I feel that's coming, mm -hmm. I'm somehow blocking it because I'm not willing to open up and speak anymore the Naga language. Okay. Now is this other entity, do you know what? I don't know what it is yet, but I can feel it coming. So you are so you are in fear. Is that what you're saying? Sure. Do you feel fear because you think it's gonna be similar to the other one? No, 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 that's not it. I don't know what it is at the moment. Is it just, the, is it just the unknown? Is it causing any anxiety within you?
not to allow the new energy, but I almost feel that because I'm not allowing Naga to be free and to just speak, it's right. somehow blocking the next energy that is trying to come. But it doesn't have to be that way. Maybe you're 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 the one making it that way. It could be that for now, Naga, you say, you know, I I will deal with this um, in my own time, and I will allow this other entity to come through. And who knows? Maybe this other entity can help ease you into Naga. Mhm. Mm but, That's a good way of know, looking at it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to handle it if the reptilian and stuff came through on the first one. But I'm glad the Lyran came through first because that was a much simpler, kind of gave me a bit more courage as well, the Lyran did. Right. Like, as soon as I started to let the, that aspect through, it started to not necessarily change the personality, but it it adds to it. It, mm -hmm. it helps to kind of put a little bit more to what you are and right. unlock, unlock things that have probably been hidden away for a while. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, def I definitely still speak in the snake. Maybe not out in public, but give yourself time to kind of connect with Naga on a kind of a more private basis and just allow yourself to be a little bit more free. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's if you feel like doing it in public is gonna gonna kind of restrict you a little bit then maybe you should uh, maybe you should wait that out a little bit and then come to it when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah or or, or just or just maybe every once in a while sit with the fear. Even if you don't let her through sit mm -hmm. with the fear itself that you're feeling um, and and work on that and, and see why do you feel that's necessary. Yeah, that's why I wanted to speak it out because well I'm trying I'm speaking it out in order to face it. Right. So sit you gotta just face the fear itself and, and see where it takes you and what comes out of there. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the worst that can happen? The snake pops out, a big it, one. Or, <laughs> or all the men run away. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Look, see how convenient that would be. <laughs> all the men, all the men run away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one stopped by me today while I was walking. I was just like, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> you should say. Uh, Sarah, you should say, you know, I have this thing happen to me. Every time I come out here, snakes seem to come out. <laughs> <laughs> and a boa pops out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You'll see them fly. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind walk. <laughs> they will fly away. <laughs> they will fly away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. But but I think I I think just just allowing yourself to feel the fear. Like you, you is that what you think that if if you allow it to come out that there will be another snake that will show up? Is that what yeah. you? You guys are gonna have a snake party. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think um, uh, Naga is uh, another aspect of Sarah that uh, tried to come out and be enlightened by her. Yeah. yeah. By her power. By her power, you know. She, she's using her power to be enlightened, to come out and be yeah. enlightened. It's a pathway maybe... that she, she, has, she has created this pathway for Naga. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you and should dance. maybe you should ask Naga to 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 do away with the showing up of the snakes that at this moment you can't go that far. Mm hmm But you are dealing to talk to her. Right. 
Yes, because like you're that. you're always in command. Right. But you're the one that really calls the shots, really. And I really want her to come out and be able to speak freely, really. And that's your intention, yes. And do it. And then somebody walks in front of me and I automatically stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> like, really it might just be a little bit too much for people. Yeah, yeah. but why why hey, Brian. what is it hey, about Brian. them that makes you want to stop? Like what makes It's not about them, it's about me. When I I looked into the mirror while I was integrating Naga and there was something wild in my whole body and in my eyes that I didn't quite recognize. And that's the part that wants to come out, right? Yes. That's your, what you call what, the wild side of you? Yeah, because I do hold myself to a certain... Professionalism? Yes, that, right there. <laughs> I know so that. So you want to kind of break free from the norm of society. You want to show them the other side of you. You want to allow that to come out. Consider right? myself to be normal. Right. And, and here's the biggest thing. What's normal? Yeah, Who just swore? Does somebody just swear in this room? <laughs> Someone say the N word. <laughs> You're extra. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. What is normal? Do 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 any of us look like that? <laughs> well, I never say that word when I'm in the room. <laughs> if you if you don't know anything about your other sort of if you've been hiding yourself away, you've been kind of pushing away all of these. These amazing parts. No, the thing is, people then, are already attracted you know, to me. That's, it's that's like I'm a vegan. Embrace no, the wild side. Yes, they'll see the We're other all side. Animals. And that's what draws people to you is that that unknown also sometimes, you know? It's the things that we don't want to look at or the sides of ourselves we're afraid to show in public also. That's the sides that are going to draw many more people because that's really what you want to do. You want to be free in a way. I do. That's your freedom. That's your expression of freedom. But it is so wild. I can tell. Like, it's like the the surface of Tame Naga. That Naga. Sarah, it, it is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> beast. Like it is not. It is no joke. Nah, you don't yeah. need to tame it. That's what's put him into the uh, into the background <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just no, we're kidding. Yourself to be. Naga and yeah, but, Sarah. but you also have to remember you have control. You yes. are in control. Yes, you're in command. Yes. Mm. yes so you can let it out as much or as little as, as you like. It's it's you are making that decision. Naga mm -hmm. is you. It's the me that I've hidden away from myself. Exactly. So, because, so what um, do you think she... Um, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, Brian. I'm sorry. You've hidden it away for so long because you feel inside mm, it wasn't the right time or you weren't sure because of what others thought. And you, like you said, you wanted to hold yourself to a certain standard. Uh, professionalism in a way, especially as you get older. We, you know, at, when we're children, it's so much fun. We... We, we don't have any expectations. We just do it, do things that we love as children. But as we get older, we carry on more responsibility. So as mm -hmm. the responsibility comes, then we're like wondering, hmm, should I, can I do this? Can I say that? You know what I mean? We start to have yeah. restrictions because of what society has deemed as right, what's wrong, you right. know, good or bad. Sabrina, so. remember what we were talking about the other night? Yes. How I try not to say things to people because it comes mm -hmm. out in a in a way that I feel like I'm slapping somebody in the face. Uh huh. Yeah, I think that's Naga. <laughs> the one that's straight like to right the point. Attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but but you can come to an agreement where you meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So that's, that's why I'm saying uh, you 
Right, you have to you have to remember that you are the one in control. You know, cuz uh and and that should help ease you into it and allowing Naga to come through. Mm -hmm. Because you got to claim your power in other words. Yeah. And own it. Own your power and roar away. <laughs> well, it's, it's here your roar, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think so. my roar is more like a. S <laughs> yes. Or a snake. Yes. Yes, that's fine. She's more of a. S it's not a roar, is a. S <laughs> Surely a snake's roar would be more like. <laughs> Like they're spitting on you. <laughs> Get away from me, I'm an angry snake. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because see, there's what, what's happening. I think the you. I'm sorry, Roy. Go ahead. No, I just said scared snake. Not scared angry scared. snake. They're not angry. Uh, that's true. They just mimic us as well. Mm. I think I think what you have right now it's it's that idea of the you know having the good angel and the so-called bad angel on your shoulder and and battling but you have to remember that they can both coexist right they can they can both be together um because you're, you know, there's the sweet Sarah that wants to be nice, and then there's the other Sarah that wants to be left alone. Well, I don't like to be left alone. I just don't want to be with people at a certain level, like a lower level of 3D. But you also, <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah, you. I, <laughs> I don't like to be alone. I'm very social. I love to be around people, but. When it gets to lower levels of 3D, I get really feisty. So <laughs> That's yeah. where your tests of compassion come in the most. That's I know! Yes. So, right. You have it right on, brother. And That's I right. told yes. her that. Yes, I told her that. <laughs> yep. Yep. I told her that you have to allow them to be in the space that where they're at. Uh, and know that that's the path that they're on right now. And that it's okay. Yeah. And be the best you can be, um, so you can guide them towards that right. higher vibration and, and meet you, yeah. meet you somewhere in the between that you can then be around them, <coughs> uh, find those things. I mean, you can't get on with everybody, but um, right. um, but I, I I do know what you mean. I do know understand where you're coming from. Yeah. What I try to do, like if they're very negative, right? Mm -hmm. I try to just like sway, change the conversation and bring them into some conversation of a higher vibration. Mm -hmm. And so if that, that doesn't if that doesn't work, eventually yeah, just walk away. Yeah. Dif diffuse it, the situation or the conversation, you know, confrontation, whatever you want to call it. I because did that recently, I, and I got a text saying that I was very rude. <laughs> Good. And Good. Um, because I wanted to help the guy, and because he didn't want the help that I wanted to provide for him and the understanding that I was trying to have him receive, um, because he was very uh, demanding on even my services. Like he's trying to demand that I do something for him. You know what I mean? And I yeah. just told him, well, if that's the way you look at it, how about you do it the way you'd like to do it? And good night. And I very hung up good. the phone. Because what and then happened? I get a, two nasty texts from him saying that I was very rude to hang up on him like that, that it's not professional, that it's not... <laughs> How can you say you're trying to help someone when you're acting like 
acting in that way or something or to that nature. But be honest sometimes. with yourself and just <laughs> sorry, Brian, just jump in. Be honest Don't with wait. yourself and be honest with them and just say I wasn't able to be able to help you then, and the frustration made me hung up. Yes. Yeah. So you're expressing you're expressing what you felt. You know. Yeah. That wasn't the conversation wasn't going anywhere, obviously. It wasn't going anywhere. Right. Because so, I wasn't willing to do his work for him, which he was trying to demand for me and but whatever but I was also, trying to do to help him, he just wasn't accepting it. So not going also, anywhere. Right, but also maybe recognizing the hanging up the phone, it's not the best thing either. Right? I felt in with the level of angst that there was, mm -hmm. hanging up the phone was the best decision. Because what if you would have said, you know what, this is not going anywhere. Uh, I, we'll yeah, we'll talk another, another time and, and just oh. hang up. No, I didn't say yeah. that. I was ready yeah. to just give up on him yeah, and wipe both, my hands out of the whole thing. and. <laughs> <laughs> Both relate to each other on a mutual way to leave a conversation just as much as you would greet each other in a conversation because nobody likes a nobody likes their phone slammed down on them in any, in any way, even if it's <laughs> off during mid signal during a conversation yes. because of lack of signal. But um yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I can imagine it's uh, it's that was quite a challenge for yeah. both of you. And then yeah. making up afterwards. I mean, that's that's another challenge as well. So yeah, yeah, and, and always try and put in other people's shoes. If you try and put put yourself from his perspective, it's not about you feeling bad. It's about you you in, always trying to do your best with whatever it is that that you do. Mm -hmm. um, it might not be seen as the best for somebody else, but it is the best for you. Yeah, it was the best so, for me because I was becoming very upset. Yeah, but <laughs> but but do you understand that that? Yeah, understand your yeah. position. Yes, understand the other person's position, and maybe <clears> say, you know what? Maybe hanging the phone is not the best thing to do, but saying we'll talk later. You yeah, know, in in that sense, and and then say this is not helping, and and then saying goodbye. And then hanging up because then you're also being rude and disrespectful to the other person when you do that. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so what ends up happening is we end up a lot of times we end up acting like the other person, right? So take on that, that energy. negative energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yes, that's what I, I felt. I definitely felt that energy. I was yeah. so through. It was just really bad. Yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I suffer from that as well quite a lot sometimes, um, especially when I'm not totally grounded and everything like that. I'll just I'll spark off somebody else for no reason, and and it's never, never, never ends up very pleasant. I must admit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I I mean I I had an incident myself yesterday, and I was like trying to stay, and I'm like. I'm not going to engage and I'm observing myself and I'm like, I'm not engaging in your drama. And I kept wow. saying, I'm not <laughs> going to engage in this. I'm walking away. But the person kept coming after me. Yes. And, and telling me more and kept coming after me and telling me more. And I said, I don't want to talk about this. We'll talk about it another time. And the person kept going after until finally I, I was like, uh, listen, leave me alone. <laughs> that's but because you you're not hiss. engaging. That's when you what? start hiss. That's when you start hissing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what in the world? <laughs> that will diffuse the situation. <laughs> so yeah. Talking to me in Naga language. <laughs> Yes, you know I've actually done that. I have actually, you know, when I get like, like, oh my god, you know, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, like, be aware, and then I just go into the language and I go, Scotland, no, we you, Scotland, you, and then I go, what's Scotland, no, what's Scotland? 
<laughs> I can already see the look on their faces like <laughs> yes, yes. You know. <laughs> and my son walks by and he's like he just keeps going. <laughs> But the thing is, I don't just speak Naga, I become Naga. So they will see the wild, the wild side, basically, that, while I'm that, speaking. That's even better. <laughs> I don't know, Gordon. I mean, I, uh, I, mean I, I, I just call Brian Gordon. <laughs> like, you uh, guys speak the language and you're still yourself? No, that's not Naga. Naga speaks his language yeah. and becomes Naga. <laughs> yeah. No, I've it's happened a couple of times, but because mine are not as um, the I would say the the strongest one. It's the the captain general. I don't I don't know. Yeah, that would be strong. Sure. Um, that's that's the strongest one, and I actually found myself like even taking the position. You know, like this, like, like, okay, come down. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, I have a very strong character to begin with, so I think, I think the captain has always been with me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's, it's, it's about you becoming the best of you. Right. And hey, Sarah. Now, well, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Sabrina. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I sometimes I can't always tell when somebody's done or not. There's like a, maybe there's too much silence on my side on the mic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to interrupt you. I w I was going to ask you if you understand the work of Byron Katie. Have you ever heard of her? No. Okay, so if um, I didn't hear the beginning of your conversation because I'm a little bit in and out. My daughter's going to work soon and I could be totally in, but um, what was he doing to you that was annoying you? Was he dismissing you, disrespecting you? Try and name exactly what he was doing that got you so upset, aside from what he was doing externally. He wanted me to help him with his business proposal that was coming up in two days that he had just written in one day. He did not want okay. to sit with it and look at it another day, which was my suggestion to come back to it, you know, to see if there's anything else he wanted to add to it. Yeah. So he, he was so what? He was pushing you? He was he, pressuring he you? Wanted me, he was pressuring me to basically look over his work and rewrite the things that I felt fit to rewrite instead of him looking at the things to where he felt fit to rewrite because it's his dream of what he wants. So you felt not, in, not included in the process? I'm trying to figure out how you how he was making you feel, like disrespected, oh, dismissed, very not... Very disrespected because he was trying to force it upon me and not listening to my suggestion about it because I told him it took me three months to do my first business proposal. He did okay. it for a day and wanted it to be perfect. Right, okay. So the main thing he's doing to you is that you felt you're, you were emotionally reacting. I felt that he was not even willing to delve deep into his own dream. Okay, so this is like dismissal, disrespect, um, that kind of thing, right? That kind of feeling? Yes. I'm, tr I'm trying to get down to the feeling uh, of, what he, of what he was doing, not exactly what he was doing, but the feeling behind it. So well, he was dismissing it, it, you. Not only that, it was his aggressiveness about me sitting down with him and actually doing the work myself instead of him doing the work for himself. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. He was so very he aggressive to... in tone. Okay. All right. So let's just take the feeling of being dismissed. 
So it, um, Byron Katie would say it like this. Um, she would make a sentence. I feel angry when, um, what's this guy's name? Well, it doesn't matter what his name is, but I, I feel angry when, it. and just <laughs> take the name of this guy and put, mm -hmm. I feel angry when Stephen is being dismissive with me. Okay? Then you take that sentence and you say, um, I feel angry when I am being dismissive with myself. So you try and find how you are dismissing yourself, how you are disrespecting yourself in order to attract other people to even think they can be allowed to do it. So mm. do you follow where I'm going with that? I follow where you were going. Um, and as you were speaking, I was thinking to myself, well, I'm not really disrespecting myself in that aspect. I didn't. But when you said because the people, with, the guy was disrespecting me, so in some way I'm disrespecting myself, That's that hit another level. But exactly. I don't know what that might be. And it's, oh, by Mary, sweetie. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have to be that you're disrespecting yourself in the same way that he is disrespecting you. But um, if you just take those sentences like, I hate when I hate when my friend um, doesn't listen to what I have to say and then you replace it with I hate myself when I don't listen to what I, I have to say because we're usually doing it to ourselves first before somebody else can so if you understand that or I understand that anybody understands that for example I used to say I hate when my husband is so domineering and then I would say I hate when I'm so domineering because I'm domineering in a whole different way, so I don't recognize my own domine my own dominance. I, I just see it, I just see his. All I can see is his. I can see my own because my right. own is come up in a different way. So, if I can say then this this is how this helped me, because I thought, oh God, I hate him. There he is being domineering again. And then I'd say, oh, okay, wait a minute. Um, you you you're the same way, but in a different way. So. You know, just try to accept, you know, try to forgive and accept it. So that's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't, like, this guy did all kinds of things which were really enraging, upsetting, hurtful, disrespectful, etc. And if you can find the way you do that to yourself and forgive yourself, then when he does it again or someone else does it again, you're like, okay, I did me too, and somehow I'm allowing it, and I forgive it, I accept it, and I can. I have the right to say no thank you and that's respecting myself too to say no thank you I'm not going to be part of it you know I'm not going to be treated that way you know or whatever but yeah that's sort of if you look up Byron Katie uh, her, her work is it's sort of like shadow work we're talking a lot about shadow yeah, work. Yeah I understand that but what you just said now yeah. I just got it. Okay. I got it because There was something you said, and a picture popped up in my mind that I wasn't allowing, um, that I was dismissing that wild side of myself. There you go. <laughs> You're dismissing a part that really wants to come out and be seen, and right. be respected, and be known, and be part of you. So you're like, hey, you know, you can't just call me up like this and manipulate me and push me and pressure me and at the same time uh, want to have this all for yourself and for your own and not value my input then you know forget it right. <laughs> you know exactly you want my and help but you don't want my help <laughs> exactly. so you know you you have right so you had the right to say uh, no yes no and no thank you and I think had he not been pushing so many of those buttons that you have in yourself that you don't like about yourself, you would have been able to very calmly say to him, thank you, but no thank you. But because he was pushing all those buttons, which were served as a mirror for yourself, you just, you couldn't take it. Like, the, I, I know that feeling. It's too much pressure, you know, and I just, I just also, I scream or I hang up or I, I do something. Because <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is just too much because I don't yeah, want to, it just, this hurts too much because, it's my own stuff. That, right. That's the hardest. I used to hate when people said that to me. It's like, you know what? People do 
stuff wrong. I am sorry. It is not always me. Why does it always have to be me? I hate, I hate when people say that to me, actually. And here I am spouting the same stuff. But, I mean, ultimately, my reaction, no matter what people do, my reaction always comes down to me. And I know that intellectually, but mm -hmm. sometimes I just want to have a break and just complain and not have somebody <laughs> teach me about the right way to do it. Guard, darn it. Oh. <laughs> I understand that. Oh, yesterday I was doing this, um, my friend and I, we do this sessions with each other where mm -hmm. she'll come over and I'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and she doesn't give advice or anything, you know, we just kind of talk. And then yesterday I was with her and she was talking and talking, planning and planning about somebody and I said, you know, I listened and uh, I understand, blah, blah. And then I said, so um, would you like some solutions? She says, no, the whole, the whole point of this is I just want to complain. <laughs> I just want to be the freedom to complain. Okay. So excuse me for giving you the whole Byron Katie thing, but since the conversation sort of went that way, I thought I would offer that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Thanks for being receptive. Yeah. So did, did we lose everybody else now in this whole thing? Is Brian still there? I'm Dan? still here. I'm listening very intently. I like the conversation. It's very, okay. very educational and a very, there's many people going through that. So thank you. Yes. Very You're much. welcome. And you, You're Sarah. Welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, Sarah, see, Sarah, your receptivity was just as important as what anything anybody else says to you. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's hard. Uh, I sometimes get a little bit defensive. Like with the with the language gym, sometimes I was like, Come on, Sophia, come on, just do it, just do it. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I can't yeah, just do it like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get that feeling many times. But just yeah. think of it, look at it this way for you, for you guys. <laughs> look, at the, look at the millions of beautiful men that are watching this right now. <laughs> where are they? I, you're beautiful, <laughs> but you're taken, Brian. So where, where are the, all the other beautiful men? And, they're, and, uh, they're coming. They're, they're coming. coming. <laughs> <laughs> All we right. just, we yes. just want to hear you guys hiss and roar, and we will okay. follow. <laughs> hiss and we'll follow. roar, yeah. Yes, oh, yes. Wow. Oh, Sarah, I thought of you last night. Oh. Uh, yes, I did, because um, <clears throat> I quit smoking, and Woo! the reason I quit and I quit smoking so that I could be more open to the channeling and the languages because I thought Yay! that's when we keep blocking, right? Thank you. So last night I woke up. I was tossed, I've been tossing and turning, man, since I stopped smoking, but my dreams are clearer and something, some energy has shifted somewhere. And then I thought of the languages and I felt this little pressure inside my brain. Remember the first language gym you were in? Mm -hmm. You said, oh, I feel this, I feel some pressure in my brain, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Mm -hmm. And so last night I felt this little, when I thought of languages, I felt this little pressure in my brain. I thought, oh, I, that reminds me of Sarah. <laughs> so I thought of you about 2 o'clock in the morning last night. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but now yeah. whenever I feel the pressure, I, I say, yay, I'm rerouting my brain. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I like yeah. it. So, yeah, I hope that's going to work like that. Yeah, and right now my, my daughter is here, so I'm not going to even okay. try to speak because she freaks out, but... Okay. Well, we could either Maybe later. We, could, we could either create T-shirts or bumper stickers or both. <laughs> beware! To I say hiss. what? To say what? Be, beware! I hiss and I, I hiss. roll. Oh, awesome! Oh, oh, I love that, Brian. That's so good. Yes. Please do it. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. I hiss and I roar. <laughs> and I'll bang down your door. <laughs> that okay. should be a t-shirt I wear every time I walk yeah. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> hiss and roar. I hiss and I roar, so lock your doors. Yes, that's <laughs> so lock your doors. Beware. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's all good. Okay, I'm going to get up again and get some go over to my daughter. I'll be back soon, okay? She's okay. calling. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Have a lovely time. Then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I do like that, though. I hiss and I roar. I hiss and I roar. 
somewhere. That's for sure. Yeah. Dan, are you still there? Gabriel? I am in, yes. Cool, Hi. man. What do you think of a t-shirt or bumper stickers or both? I hiss and I roar. <laughs> no, the beware part got to be part of it. I don't, oh, yeah, need, I don't need the t-shirt. <laughs> there you go. That is, that is, that is a cool idea. I do, like it. <laughs> I do enjoy funny t-shirts. Hmm. Hello, Hi, Steven. Hey, Steven. How are y'all? Good, good. How are you? I'm out of work right now. <laughs> okay. Y'all been out there? Oh, just, just having conversations. Just hiss, hissing and roaring. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Actually, that should be one of the human colonies T-shirts. Yeah. Because <laughs> Max, Max was wanting to do um, like some human colonies T-shirts, wasn't he? So you should get like some some language ones. Just get like woo ha. Yeah, woo ha <laughs> would be a good one. That's a good one. Woo ha, and the back should say woo ha. Yep. Yep. Greetings and goodbye. Yes. Or farewell. Mm -hmm. Greetings and farewell. Yeah. Front and back. That's brilliant. Love that. We're going to have to start getting that together. That's okay. Anybody else has anything to say? <clears throat> yeah, some of the language I've been playing around with just coming through me a little bit more. Let's hear it. All different types. All right, let's go ahead now. It sounds like Octarian or something. Very good. Yeah, funny one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah like strange it one. It puts me in mind of cartoon characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they're speaking a foreign language. <laughs> Especially when you go like, chica la <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is, but it's... That's great. Fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange one for me. I'm just not used to some of these. It's interesting. Good job for that. Thank you. Oh, your son's there with you? Oh, my God, there's a... Yeah, there was a feedback for a second. Yeah. He told me, he told me good job for that. Oh, he loved it. <laughs> he likes it. Ask him if he can speak it. Mm. He's he's busy in Minecraft right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's in his own reality. Right. <laughs> Just for now. Um, yeah. The other one is <clears throat> part of the reptilian language, I believe. Okay, let's between hear that it. Between that and Laren. Between that and Laren. You want to show us? Yeah, I'm trying to think between Lyra and it might come out in mixer or both. I'm not sure exactly, but I'll just, I'll throw it out there. Shakutuka siaka mila koto chukoto vina satika makatura ila rokia makasika chika tuka mia kulu koto chanantia kamasta pia luko chakatana sanadia koto. Bakasiga korala satia mukujuka siakia sia ia mukotua via riala kotu siaka. I like that one. That had strength to it. That was that oh, was quite yeah. Laren. That, that was really Laren. hot. Is that Laren? <laughs> that sounded quite Laren. Yeah, that was that was awesome, man. That's fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what you said. It's got power to it. Yes. Yeah. It's like a commanding kind of. Isn't it? On the bus, kind of. On the bus. <laughs> the boss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm the boss. Uh, yeah. Sounds like that. 
Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, if anybody feel, yeah, feel, 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 yeah, feel free if any of yours guys want to come through any language. Go ahead. Hmm. There's a new one I started saying. I was practicing with um, Gabriel. They thought it might be a bit of Arturian, but one of the dialects. But it feels different from the way everyone else is speaking it. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I feel like somebody needs to start me off. <laughs> It feels different. It does, and it sounds a little different from the other one that you spoke. I like that one. Both of them are fascinating. It kind of sounds like the similar thing that was happening with Gabriel, where you were saying saying the same words over and over and you're you're just unlocking new words kind of piece by piece yeah because mm. a lot of a lot of what you're saying was very similar yeah but that's a new one coming out so just work with that and then you have you have all sorts of stuff coming through yeah, that's really good. so I feel like I, I need to catch up with some of you guys. No, uh, you don't need to catch up. You're at your own pace. You're exactly where you need to be. Shalakotu Yamaka Sakatia Gula Kachakototo Via Katsana Tia Balorokotia Sina Kachikata Me Saka Kuka Katika Chikotato La Siakatu Pika Solua Mia kati chakatu kani nandua kati akara katikju tika samakutu kala kati chichika hoya. It feels like you. Oh, go ahead. Kata noa itika roka so shoto uso kata sanda toko iya tanua iya tawa. Sha Kalakotu chika tadi, bakasaya. Main kalakotu chika tadi dia saya kotor dia saya bakati ya ko. Ko kasi lanjut nak ko kati dia bakake. Kasi ko ko kati dia ko tu chika tadi. Bakasak lagi dia ko kati chika tu kalakotu dia chika ta. Sama ko tu tu tu. Biar kati dia bakotu dia pada dia. Sekotu dia, bala ko kati. Tota sakato noa, ita sato.
Je kokoto. Kiga sama kate yakvo. Ya kata kala kato kachik tataya. Sama kato chikato dorea. Pakati chitan toko te pakato dia kata de de asiato. Bela korula kate kachik toko haya satua. Mimi ko la kato chiko. Pakasi ka pakorola kate 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 kato kate kachik tato ka. Pika soa katea. Sakara, <laughs> What is she got? What Pakisinta katuko te raka chika o tuko te ase a tuto dia. Pakinga kata kontak chika tuto. Chakala kato te ase a. Chakok chika a chika a sha chika a a chika a sha a a sha a a sha a a. Do si shi hatuk a o o sho o tu. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Not all y'all, but we're all doing great on on uh, accelerating our abilities. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hey, it was nice to talk with y'all. I gotta go back to work, y'all. It's much love, much more of all y'all. Yours is starting well, to start start start. Start. I'm out of you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, my hands are vibrating. <laughs> so Sarah, do you feel like you learned some new words today? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> my hands are literally tingling and vibrating at the moment. <laughs> that's great because that's the impression that you're feeling inside, you know, and that around your body. And that's 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 oh, the part goodness. of the activations. <laughs> That's you yes. telling Naga today that you 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 don't want to hold him back. Yes. But now, now he's coming through a little bit at a time, just so you're comfortable with it. You feel that was Naga? I I reckon that was the same language. Huh. It was just new words I found. I thought yeah, I felt it was. Um, more, more of the language that you've been learning, but I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not necessarily Mr. Mr. Alien Languages, to be honest. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm as, I'm as clueless as most people are. Mm. All I know is that I've got a, a lot of them, and I. I feel comfortable kind of expanding into more and learning more and yeah I reckon I've got the ability to learn all of them or at least a dialect of that race mm -hmm. 
well. Hello, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Hello. Hello. We're just playing around with some languages. Anything coming through for you? Oh, um, maybe. I feel comfortable. Maybe. Kind of expanding into more and. Oh. I hear myself in the background. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lainey, what, what stuff have you got? Zina kaloko chuka dia. Zanga dia kata saka pokote chika tete dia. Lunga leka sa dia ka. Ika chika tika hua sa dia. Roka se amoko chika dia koto. Pia kata kia siya. Mokote chika ta dia hua. Yeah, me too. It just seems like a real echo going on here somehow. <laughs> so, Lainey, what, what stuff have you got? Huh? Oh, Something's going wrong there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, turn, yeah, turn your video off. You're like watching the video and you're trying to join. Your, you know what I mean, Caroline? Oh, I see. She's watching the video and then... Or like a feedback or something. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's That's okay. It makes me thinking, what's going on? <laughs> I thought it was actually quite funny, but there you go. <laughs> so, any new languages for you, Caroline? Oh, just my usual, um, which uh, kind of goes. Um, Oh, here we go. Hala kamini gala dos kamala kadula kayala kumala kai. Haya kumala kaski mala kola kuhula kini gala kamari kaya kuya. Something like that. <laughs> no, that's that sounds kind of sim similar to mine a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think yeah. Sabrina also speaks something like that. Uh huh. Ola katika sala katija katodia seika pakadia. Kana sa lo ria kato jiji kata dia, poko so kato kia, makasi kali kati kuto kato jiji tika dia sa kato du, kafe sa kala kiti kuna kato kula kati ya kato sa kati toka kesi la kuchu, pi pa pa kato jiji ni dati kopra kasa kula kati kuto jiji kata kati toka kato du. Jump in and anybody wants to. I'm going to be right back in just a sec. All right. Alaka bidis kana kala ko na kamis kala ko to ya la kamaria alaka ski wo la kemi ya ko kitske mo la katu ya la kamaria ya o ski wo de kena la ko ya la kamis ko na kenu ska. Hola chica la la la, wara chica la 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 la, wait a wait a wait a, wara chica la la. Ala kato chica dia, masa dia kori kakati te kato te kati te te la kato chica 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 ta ti dia solo kato, tinga kia kia kato lo kosa kiti ka pagati ka lo kuro. Inga ti to ko tai tai to chukati ka ti 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 pako lo ko tu chikan tinga ka to solo tu. Caroline, hi, it's Safira. Lainey, did she go already? Mm, Mister. Oh, <laughs> Lainey, um, can hello. you hear? Yeah. No, Sorry, my it's, it keeps um my screen keeps kind of. Yeah, she's breathing in and out. Yeah, I did that before too. It was nice to hear you speaking. My goodness, I just realized mm -hmm. who it was because I'm not really. Uh, in here 100% yet, but I, I heard this nice language and I thought, 
That's slimy with the tiger. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Arr. Arr. Yes. Arr. 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 Brian, Brian, you got to make those a hiss and roar t-shirts. Oh, that, yeah, it's, it's the bumper stickers and the t-shirts. We have to make it it's called Beware, I Hiss and Roar. <laughs> Yo. We hiss God. and we roar. <laughs> Max will love that. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Carolyn, which language were you just speaking? I don't know. I think it's cross between. Um, uh, um, Arcturian and Yadian, I think. Um, but it, it it's not. Um, when I'm more passionate about it, it kind of comes out as more, it sounds kind of a bit more Italian, kind of got a bit like an Italian twang to it. Um, oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. It's yeah. beautiful. It's quite funny. But it's, it's, quite, it's quite weird because I used to kind of say little words to myself in the past and didn't really think much of it. And it kind of like turned into like... Um, you know, like Italian would say, like pizza. You know, like and um, and I didn't really think much of it until like now. You know, when I think, oh, there's there's actually something there. You know, it's actually something. It's yeah. not nothing. Yeah. Who was it? Was it Dan or was it Rowie? Somebody asked if the Italians were Yael. If many of the Italians were Yael, and I think Jim was channeling somebody. I think he said many are. Maybe maybe you have some Yael there with the Italian. Yeah, when Nick speaks his Yael, it was quite Italian. There was a lot of Italian in there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah. Mate, it might because you've got a <clears throat> you've got a strong connection to the Andromedans as well. So it may be that. <clears throat> right, nobody's actually had Andromedan yet. I know, that's what I wanna know. You know, please right. contact so I've got no references for this stuff. Hmm. Maybe you're the maybe you're the one bringing it to the to the group. I hope so. I hope so. I really do. Yeah. That'd be cool. It would be. Yeah. I know they're very telepathic. So when I heard that they were in um, helping in column in them um, colony one, I was kind of quite excited. I thought, yes, yes, they're actually doing something because they don't like to do much. They they just like. Um, to kit themselves to themselves pretty much and um, they don't like to interfere too much and um, well my ones don't I know that and um, so yeah it's quite exciting to hear that they're kind of helping with the tele telepathy uh, I think it's pretty cool that yeah. and Ruth and uh, Sophia something's coming through you too Sophia yes and uh, thank you Brian and I, I think um, maybe you one of my channeling gifts is actually interpreting and not only speaking. Um, and yesterday I was doing some meditation. <laughs> I took a walk and I was doing some meditation in nature. And I, every time I expanded my heart out, I felt a lot of love. And then I got a message and it said, let them all know they are loved. Let them all know they are loved. And there's so many people who don't understand about being loved, you know, even us probably many times. So um, then I was thinking about a lot, there's a lot of lonely people, people in prison, there's a lot of situations where uh, people would like to know that they're loved, but like me just writing a letter saying you're loved, I don't know if that works. So I don't really know how to let people know they're loved, but that was the message. Those who come in contact around you, those people that feel that around you, just by yeah. you being you and your passion and your joy, they feel that. It gives them the opportunity in that moment to you being the facilitator yeah. and allowing them to feel that around you and each other. Or yeah. It's, it's kind of not so much what you call feeding, but it's, a, it's an expansiveness. It's the yes. awareness of that you are a part of everything, but you, the love that you're talking about is the unconditional love without conditions. Period. No conditions yeah. on what love is. Love is universal. It's cosmic. It, it, it's, it's just everyone taps into because it's a state of allowance. Love mm -hmm. equals allowance. Very nice. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I also felt the message was for, well, maybe not. Maybe it was just for each of us in our own environment uh, to do just what you said, Brian. I don't know. I always start thinking, because I have a Christian background, I always start, start thinking mission, you know, <laughs> larger. Same, same larger. I, I'm the yeah. thing. I, off and on, I, so I feel that sometimes. I feel like, okay, what is my mission here? Here, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? But then again, it's like, if I follow my highest excitement, that's where the synchronicities line up. Yeah. Because it's one after another, and then you just get into a flow, a flow of things. Mm -hmm. You don't have to think about it as much anymore. It's yeah. just a flow. The minute yeah. we stop and we judge and try to figure out, that's when it stops. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 3D of version of us doing that. Trans yeah. Yeah. Okay, I will say something to you, Brian, in Italian. Okay. E vero. E wait, wait, vero, say, it, say it real slow, because I want to hear it sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. E vero, signor, e vero. <laughs> You're going to have to interpret that, too, because I'm not good at interpretations. <laughs> it, I, I, just said it, I just said it's true, sir, it's true. E vero. A oh. is is and vero is like il verita, the truth, yes, il verita. Yes. So a vero means it's true. Ah. So I said it's true, sir, it's true. Yes. Beautiful. I, I love how you say that too. It's very, very <laughs> simple, very, very simple. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. And we can see that. your face turning red right now. So the millions I know. of people. Yeah, you can. Oh, God, really? <laughs> <laughs> you can see actually color through this through this hangout thing. <laughs> Just think the thousands and millions of beautiful men out there seeing your smile yeah. right now. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> do you know, do you know, no, no, I, it's true, yes. Um, do you know that I have met my twin, I know who my twin flame is. Okay. I'm not going to say who it is, but I know who it is. <laughs> That's beautiful. But, so I'm not looking for anyone, but it's so challenging. Actually, so people often get confused between a soulmate and a twin flame, and they think that soulmates and twin flames are the same. Well, um, I doubt it because soulmates have a rather easy time once they meet, and it's so automatic, and this they don't challenge each other's insecurities or mirror each other to the point where they're just going nuts or whatever. But twin flames are total mirrors and they often meet in diverse... They often meet where either one or the other partner is already married or they're in another country or something or something. There's many, many obstacles because mm -hmm. they're part of each other's soul. They each share part of the soul and you know, before they reunite, there's a lot of baggage and a lot of, they have to reach the same spiritual understanding and the maturity. So this can be quite a challenge. So I'm going through quite a challenge right now with mine, and I don't know how the ending is going to turn out. <laughs> the question is, do you want to know the ending, or do you enjoy the process? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, the process is painful. I'd rather get to the ending ready. <laughs> Let's get to the ending, man, because this is too too much. But, um, yeah, I mean, doesn't always end up being a romantic union, but that's the concept that it could be. I yeah. think whenever, I think the process of, of um, Go ahead, go ahead, Lainey. I'm going to be fine I was going to say, yes, really. are you sure it's not Brian? Have you got something to tell us, Brian? Hey, hey. Well, my twin mate, my twin soul, my soul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it could be Brian's married, so that makes it difficult. Um, that's already the first challenge. He's living somewhere else. That's the next challenge. Um, I don't feel too much incompatibility, though. See, they usually, usually the twin flames are such an intense mirror to each other. Liney, you know it's not Brian. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're playing with us. No, anyway. Rawr. We're roaring and whatever. <laughs> yeah, but that would be, you know, there was an old movie called Harold and Maud. 
Has anybody ever seen that movie? No. I, I was thinking about it's either Brian or me. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh. No, no, no. I didn't say it was from the human colony. I just said I know who he is. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, so let the mystery yeah, go on, expand. Go on, um, Sophia, you're, you're kind of digging a bit of a hole here. Go on, keep going, keep going. I know, I know. So anyway, there's a movie called Harold and Maud, and it's it's from the 80s. It's a really interesting movie where she's like, I think, 65, and he's 23 or something. And I'll get first, it's really gross, the idea of having that kind of relationship, but uh, this was a very taboo movie, as you can imagine, back in the day of such a young man and an older woman. But actually, I, and I don't think in the movie they showed any sexuality, but it was more they were so connected to each other. They loved each other so much. And, um, yeah, she... Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about the movie. But and so there could be twin flames who meet like that, too, you know? There's age difference, there's sexuality preference difference, there's where people are living, married, not married, young, old. It's all kinds of stuff, yeah. So, anyway, about all those men watching out there, um, yeah. Ruth, I Maybe already it, met one. You're going to you have did? to come up with a... Your daughter. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, yeah, you Brian, they're going to come, they're gonna have to wait in line. Oh, yeah, maybe Gabrielle, who knows, yeah. Um, yeah, she grew up in Germany. Ich habe but, uh, einen Umschlager. Yeah, aber die Deutsche sind sehr, um, manchmal so brutal in wie die mit alles umgehen. Verstehst du? She likes the Americans are very gentle. Oh, when I was in Germany 20 years, after a while I was like, oh my God, I am missing the American men. They are so gentle. I was missing that gentleness. <laughs> and then you sometimes that... Hug. Huh? You want a hug? I do. I need a hug. How did oh, you know? We're going we're gonna to give you a big, a big hug right now. It's an energetic <laughs> hug. Awesome. Thank you. I'll just receive it. You're welcome. It. Thank you. I do. I'm dealing with a lot of loss, and I, I need a hug. I, I almost went to sleep. <laughs> that was why I was lying in my bed Gabriel. and had so much energy. Gabriel. Gabriel. He felt that hug. hug. He was saying he felt that hug so much it put him to sleep almost. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was sweet. But, uh, Thank you very I, much. I, I, I wonder, uh, I think Lakesh came a little really? bit oh, wow. into my arm and my leg. Was that recently? Oh. It was nice. Yeah, it when I was like, I, 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 I can't communicate. I just feel the energy right now. Yeah, it's for you to start to slowly get used to the energy. <clears throat> That's why. I don't think he's just going to fully come into you full blown. You know, it's it's more of you getting used to the energies, being grounded, and then working with from there. Yeah, it was very like gentle and he is very gentle and warm. I he tried once to see how far he could get with me a few months ago and he said yes. I'm not ready, but his energy was very nice. Yeah. Maybe I'm more ready now for him. But he didn't like Sabrina's body, he said. <laughs> you go like, ooh, I don't like this body. <laughs> he did. He said that. No, nothing personal about Sabrina, of course, but he just said he didn't like the body. I guess he's so used to Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's used to. Hello, guy. everybody. Hey, Prana. Hello, Prana. Ura katana karasana kuruwa tara tara sana kreta tara rotu turu kwana karasana kreta tara rotu turu kwana karasana kreta Go ahead, Gabriel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirikirik
Brian, you were going to ask me something. What was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just creating some ideas that were floating in my mind about some bumper stickers or T-shirts that say, Beware, I'm hissing and roaring. Oh. <laughs> I, I, no, I like better, Brian, I hiss oh, and I roar. I yeah, think that's that one. More that's, it. Yeah. that's more appropriate. I hiss yeah. and I roar. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Prana, how long have you been speaking the language? I just spoke just now. When you said it, I just... Yeah. When <laughs> I, you, me, when, when you uh, came in, and then I like, boom, started speaking it. <laughs> yep. Keep keep going, Prana, if you want. So that is Arcturian, right? Uh, some kind of Arcturian, I think. Yeah, I think that's Arcturian. Yeah, a little between that, Palladian maybe, yeah. Well, I didn't want to interrupt. I mean, I just wanted to see what you guys were talking about. You're not if interrupting. If I had something to contribute, then I would contribute. Well, yeah. we were talking about twin flames. Do you know, any, have you ever met a twin flame or a soulmate in your life? Uh... I have not, or, you know, I mean, I'm not aware if I have, but uh, I have heard Drunvalo Melchizedek talk about Twin Flame. Mm. And it was very interesting because before I listened to that, my idea of meeting a Twin Flame or a soulmate was that, you know, you are meeting the other half of you, so it would be the most beautiful, wonderful experience. But Drunvalo <laughs> had a complete different uh, take on it because he actually <laughs> had met his twin flame in this lifetime because yeah. it was actually brought to him. And according to him, what he said was that was the worst two years of his life because it was <laughs> constant fighting and constant bickering. And, and he was saying, so... People, whoever is thinking about twin flame or so, like you know soulmates, I would hold off on as long as possible. <laughs> so that was his yeah. take, and, and you know what had happened to him was in in the past life, he was a female, and his wife was a male. So in this lifetime, they switched uh, um, their sexes, right? And I mean, I guess mm -hmm. like whenever people reincarnate, I guess they switch their sexes, and in a previous lifetime. Uh, they had a daughter, and he was a girl, so it was the wife and her daughter was captured by some people, like some uh, some tribal people, mm -hmm. and his wife, who was a male at the time, or her husband, said like, okay, you know, um, no, the, the wife, sorry, the, 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 anyway, like, because the sex reversal, I mean, sometimes I get confused. Yeah. Anyway, so he was supposed to go back and rescue them, and he could never go back, right? So that's yeah. why in his lifetime, his wife remembered all that stuff, you know, like being the twin flame and all. So she was very upset, and that's what they argued about a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so man. that's my understanding of twin flame. I was shocked to hear that. No, I'm laughing a lot when you're talking about it because I was just saying that right before you came in. I was saying how the twin flame uh, is different from the soulmate. The soulmate is not supposed to be as difficult as the twin flame. But when you meet the twin flame, you can either be enemies, you can be the best friends, you can be lovers, but it's not easy. And the circumstances under which you meet are normally not equal and not easy. And also, the Keshe explained that this, your twin flame doesn't, if it's half soul, like if um, I meet my twin flame, and we each have the half of each other's soul. That's a whole different thing than if I have three quarters and he's got a quarter. And so I will be wishing for maybe his quarter, or you know, one of us wish is wishing for the other one more than the other because we have different amounts of each other's soul. It gets very complicated, but it's not easy. I was just sharing that before you came in, so thank you for that. <laughs> Hello, Ellie. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Doke. How are you? <laughs> How are things in Bulgaria? 
I was th thinking about you and I was like, isn't there like a hangout going on right now? Let me check. Okay. There is. There is. <laughs> Hello. Are, are it cold in where you are now? Uh, we are. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice summer. We are. We had a lot of rain, and there were some disasters here by the seaside. But uh, now everything is handled, and we are okay to to continue the way in, we live. In Sweden, we had very hot summer, and America had very cool summer, and uh, uh, no, I mean uh, winter. We had a hot winter and America had a cold winter and, uh, it on like and now we have a very cold summer. <laughs> See, I'm in Vegas, very which is cold. very very close to California, and uh, it was not cold at all. I did not even feel like it was winter. It was more like spring. Yeah. Winter in I, I'm in Arizona, Prana. I had this, oh, this I, every, I thought we had a beautiful winter this time. Yeah. Wow, I was very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a beautiful winter. Yeah, it's the kind of winter I moved here for. I moved to Arizona in 2012 because of the winters, and the first winter was really terrible. A lot of, it was cold with a lot of rain. So this year we had a beautiful winter. Yeah, just it's like you said, it was too cold. Was too this whole yeah. year. Yeah. Go ahead, Sarah. I was gonna say, does anyone feel like today feels a bit different? in weather because I'm in Miami and yesterday it was 90 degrees and today is 75 degrees it's 75 wow. degrees in June the end wow. of June that never happens like it's usually 90 all summer <laughs> but it is 75 degrees today like that is absolutely crazy for me yeah weather is so What's that, Ellie? Weather is changing everywhere. It's completely different from what we are used to. So Ellie, yeah. are you are you aware or have you heard of the Planet X or the Nibiru Nibiru thing? Mm, I cannot say that I I I have information in my head right now. No. According to what I understand or what I've been reading. Uh, there's a planet that has entered our solar system. I mean, I think it's a planet X, and some people call it Nibiru. Uh, it was held off like last year, but now they are allowing that um, planet to go through our solar system, and because of that, it is very electromagnetic, and that's why, like, you know, it is interacting directly with the Earth's atmosphere, the electromagnetic of it, and uh, that is creating a loss of Earth wobble, and uh, you know all these sinkholes that you are seeing and these freak uh, tsunamis that was just generated, I think, in Italy or somewhere. In Italy, and, uh, yeah, all those things because of like the Earth wobble, it is creating those stuff and and earthquakes going on where like there was no earthquakes before and it is all happening because of uh, the magnetic pull and push or the toggle or or the wobble and uh, you know so that's why like there's snow in some parts of the world where in midsummer you know and uh, in some places where it's supposed to be winter no snow at all and this is gonna I think be more severe, and these are the sim are the si are the signs I should say of uh, that planet passing through. And uh, there was this guy who channels cosmic consciousness, and he was talking about that after July 15, this is going to be more intense. And the things that people were talking about about the pole shift or the Earth changes, it will be allowed to to happen. So that's why you are seeing that freak weather and all that stuff. Yeah, and that's, my, that's my understanding of it. Weather. The, we're not going to have the pol polar shift because it will destroy our civilization. They will not want it. To. All that, all that gloom and doom has been canceled. 
Yeah, <laughs> thank no, God. No. Yeah, we we <laughs> control guess. we control the weather. So we if we start getting all anxious as a human collective, then that's right. what that's what the weather's going to be like. The coastal areas, there is a mini ice age that's taking place, but it's mostly the coastal areas as the Arctic and a lot of the, uh, you know, the uh, glaciers and stuff are melting and stuff. The sea levels will rise, but it's not going to be catastrophic. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know. And, and if, if it gets yeah. catastrophic, we just use our spacecraft. Yeah, it won't. <laughs> not to that degree. Right. It's it's not it's just just put it this way it's just see it from this perspective it, there won't be a what you call end of the world or anything like that so it's if nothing it, like that. Uh, I'm not worried if, about if it. If it does, we just go to the colonies. <laughs> the world is bad for business. Yeah, according to all the ships that are outside our Earth. That's what they are for. In case if anything happened, they they can literally lift us up in ten minutes. Yes, we. They have the technologies also, and and they right. they would not want to see humanity die off like that. And that's not going to happen. I know a I lot of in religions, a lot of the religions, certain things like the vi individuals like to scare people because that's all they've been taught. You know, to fear, fear, fear. But it's not like that. It's it's hey, you know, it's Brian. much more. Yes. Look who's here. Is it Hi. Naomi? Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you, my friend. How are you? Good. How about you guys? Good. Great. It's, it's wonderful to see you on here. We see you in the distance sometimes back and forth. You look I'm, better. I'm so you look very good. You are, very yes. Good. You are always welcomed here just to talk and things that are on your mind and things that you want to get off your, you know, Get off your chest in a way, <laughs> just to throw it out there, you know. We can even talk about boyfriends and girlfriends and Anything. all the stuff. <laughs> Preferably when it's not live. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Very just things that open right up now. your home. This is live. Yeah, it's probably best not to chat about that if if it's live. Start start small, work your way in feel comfortable and then you know start asking questions whenever you're ready were you talking to me I think we all were yes yes oh I didn't get that sorry I it's the connection is really bad actually <laughs> like it, it like breaks up and so I don't, I didn't really hear. I just said I heard something about talking, but make it louder. No, it's not, I don't. It breaks up. It's not. The, uh, it's it's mm. okay. If you can hear me, you can tell us what's going on with you. Is there something new going on? Have you met some new people? Oh, what's going on with me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You. In my life, or yeah, in what your did my mom say life. about me again? No. no, I think we have some new ways to help you. Well, yeah. no, we can hear you just fine. Um, I don't know that one. It's not too long. I have a feeling oh. you, you will be picking up something new, and maybe you have started or or met some new people. I don't know, but I have a feeling that something new is happening to you. To me, something new, not really. I'm, I'm just going through a, a, um, what do you call that? Mental illness right now, but I know what it is and how to overcome it. It just takes time, and otherwise, I'm trying to be positive in life. Yep, <laughs> that's what's been going on. Yeah, Maybe well, mental illness is not a illness at all. Maybe it's just a, a stigma. You know, people have just labeled that word, but maybe you actually are blessed and uh, see many different things that most people can see or understand. No, it's not really that. It's really a mental illness because um, it it makes you feel like a stranger to yourself. It's not that I feel like I have I discovered new things or 
whatever you feel like you feel like basically you're high all day long, that you just feel really disconnected, but you feel disconnected from your body, from your mind, like you feel like somebody else is in your body, like you cannot connect with anything that from your past, you know who you, you know I know who I am and my parents and when I was born and everything I experienced through my life, it's not that I forget it, you just cannot connect to any feelings. Like you know, I know my 18th birthday like two years ago, but and I know what I did and what who I was, but I cannot connect to it. Like if I talk right now, I know this is my voice, but it just seems like a strange. It's just you feel like a stranger to yourself, and it's weird thinking that you exist all this time and who you were all this time. It's just it's and this is caused by a by a traumatic. Um, it can be caused by a traumatic event and um, by other stuff and it just breaks out and um, your brain basically tries to protect itself from that traumatic event and makes you feel that you go out of your body. It's just caused by a post-traumatic event. Not everybody gets it who, who like experience something traumatic. It just can be triggered and it's just basically a pile of too much traumatic stuff that just overflows and then your body, your brain does that with you and it just takes time to connect and you have to, it takes a lot of time to understand it and just to look with it and to, you have well, to... You have to take control, you have to take control over it. Exactly. Yeah. It is, but it's hard because when you get that, it's called deep presenting like I cannot say it in English. Just, I would say don't try to explain. Don't try when you to get that, you think you're going crazy because you don't feel like you're yourself. And not this disease is not really out there. Not well, not many people know about it. So you're first thinking, okay, I'm going crazy because I have no feeling for who I am. You look at your hands. You look yourself in the mirror. You're just like, who is that? It's just you're you've really, let, really connected. You've You've let go of your, your identity. Is that a good thing? Kinda, yeah. It's just you cannot connect to it. You hear right. your own voice, and yes. it just seems so weird. Like, oh my gosh, who is that? Like, it's just you feel like a complete stranger to yourself, and you see life in a different things. You you start thinking about stuff in life that makes you feel panicked, and so you know anxieties. So that's where the anxiety comes. Yeah, because I, I, for a while I got into a moment thing. I was just like, who was I two seconds ago? Who am I in the next second? Like, how can I always be right now? Just stuff like that that know me makes total sense, but it, you're, you're getting obsessed with thoughts and you get really... Uh, the mind's getting in the way because you're trying, to, you're trying to understand it. The mind's getting in the way. Exactly. It's just it's wor it's overworking, and you yes. you feel like you, you think a lot about death and just really stuff that you you try to control stuff that you can control in life. And right. It the makes things you that you ready. cannot control, just let it go. That's the exactly. thing. That's it's actually one of the big, biggest things with the mind. When the mind becomes too too controlling, when you almost become reliant on your brain. It actually makes you feel like you can control everything outside of you as well, and you're trying to control it to try and make yourself feel better about it, to try and make your brain kind of feel like it's in control of your universe. I know exactly yeah. where you come from because I went through that as a kid as well. Yeah, and it's, it's the thing is, your mind makes you just think stuff uh, that's normally total makes sense, but it doesn't make any sense to you. And then you realize things about life, and you're just like, that doesn't make any sense. You, you so you start panicking all day long about, and but you get that is just overthinking, and then like just not allowing or just not letting go because you are like constantly thinking, 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 and you know one thought is like attracting another thought, one negative thought is attracting another negative thought, and then it just becomes overwhelming and stuff like that. Couldn't you like like sometimes like let's say for example you were in that moment, right? Couldn't you like say, okay, pause this thought and then go back, backtrack your thoughts and see if you can control your thoughts that way or just change them 
and say like, hey, you know what? I am going to change the way I am thinking and I'm going to take control of it and see if you can do that. You know, the moment oh, yeah. like, you're overwhelmed. I don't, I don't allow myself anymore. Like, these thoughts still come, sometimes pop into my head and it tries to make me feel panicked, but I know that this is not me, so I don't I don't try to allow myself to think that. Whenever it comes, I just try to distract myself. The thing is that, that post-traumatic stress, it causes a chemical imbalance in your head because your brain tries to protect yourself from in, from everything because it's been in, it's been through such a dramatic trauma that your brain really just causes a chemical imbalance. So the the best way really to overcome is is to try to you have to um, you have to go through that traumatic experience again and just accept it. It's just like it's you have to it's a lot of work because you have to your brain has to change again and know that it's okay what happened to you and it's going to be okay and just things from the past it's just everything is a pile it piles everything up all that trauma and then through another traumatic experience lots of people get that through smoking weed or whatever it just like comes in it hits you and it's there and it's hard and you have to learn how to deal with it and you can you can try it like obsessive thoughts, you can put them away, but not feeling yourself all day long and talking and doing stuff and just feeling like you're a total stranger, you don't know who you were all your life. It's just really hard, but you just have to still go on and always remind yourself that this is not you and it's just right now an illness and it will go away. You just have to accept what happened to you and yeah, it's, it's tough. And it's, it takes a lot to accept right now what's happening to you. Because if you have never thought and felt this way your whole life, I've never had a panic attack in my entire life until like two months ago or three months ago. So it's it's a lot what's going on with you because you think you're going crazy, but you never ever thought like that. I and have something to give. Look at, look at now. Look at your smile. Look at your radiance. Look at your uh -huh. brilliance. Look in the mirror right now. Go right. to the bathroom in the yeah, mirror. Look at yourself and look yeah. at what's happening. You're, you're shifting your perspective right now as you talk. As you're talking, you're letting it go. You're letting everything out. This is beautiful. This is what we're talking about. The more that you can talk to other people and put yourself in their position also, back and forth, role play, whatever it takes for you to get that anxiety out, not to hold it and push it down into your solar plexus, but to bring it out. That mm -hmm. is the beauty. That's where you, you're allowing yourself to free yourself from letting other aspects of yourself control yourself, you know? Yeah. Controlling you. You're, 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 totally you're being agree. in command. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sarah, That's free. you had something to say? Yes, um, I wanted to offer you this because you feel that your mind is ru is running like a thousand miles a minute. Um, meditation may be helpful to you because meditation actually quiets the mind. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've I've already been uh, into that. It's um, from from one point I knew I wasn't ready yet for meditation because meditation used to make me. I think some people, because my dad, he all he does is meditation. He's all into yoga, and he's like the biggest. I I already know about that stuff. It's just some people have it easier, and some people don't. But there's mm -hmm. there have been a few practices I'm doing for just calming your mind. And mm -hmm. Through this experience, I got a huge sleep disorder. Like, whoo! I, it's sleeping for me is a hard, hard part. Because, okay. Uh, I also want to offer you asleep, this. My body's asleep, but my mind keeps working, and yes. and I tell you to shut down and to focus, try to meditate. But it's just really strong because my my brain is trying to comfort my my body all the time to say you're not going crazy. That I'm just trying to prevent myself from a panic attack all day long because Are it's you still. To think things? Is your mind trying to fix solutions to the world? What exactly is it? One event, or is it overall what's going on in the world? I, in I, don't, I don't let I don't let my mind do that anymore. Try to fix solutions. I know that this it's, world was created as it should be, so I'm not this, I'm not thinking anymore that stuff. I don't let myself think that stuff. And here's the thing: we can't control the world. We 
we I mean we can't change the world as the in the in the global thing it's changing ourselves our perceptions our reflections of who we are that's what changes everything else you have mm -hmm. to start with self mm -hmm. the you that's you the, at the core of who you are your brilliance not the judgments not anything else it's that which you already know it's deep inside you that is when you look in the mirror you look at yourself and you say I am beautiful I love myself Mm -hmm. That is powerful, and mean it, and believe it. That changes everything. It does. That's amazing, Brian. Yes. You really meant that that you said. When when you when you start with self, and it's and it's challenging because if you can at least tend to maybe start out with five minutes or a minute, whatever it takes for you to look at yourself in the mirror, and not try, but do not judge yourself. One little thing: what is wrong? I don't like this about me. That what I can get better at? You know, just observe yourself and say, yes. "I love you. You yes. are brilliant." And that is powerful because it's you with you. You're being with yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's, that's how true. others see you too, because through the mirror, you know, you, the only time we can see our reflection mostly is through other people. Isn't that weird? I realized that. Too. I know. I got caught on that for like two days. I'm just like, I the only time I've ever seen myself is when I look in the mirror. I have no idea how other people see me or. Exactly. But here's the thing: you're actually becoming the observer of yourself. You notice what you said. You said that you feel like you're watching yourself in your own body, say your words, saying just talking and being who you are. Why don't you allow yourself to be that observer in order to understand yourself, to be that mirror for yourself? Oh, I do. I do. It's just, uh, it's really hard to explain how, what, what it does to you. And I, I, that's the only way to become healing is if you just accept what you are and the moment you are and everything what happened to you. You just have to that's really correct. accept from a post, like, just accept everything and let it go and be okay with it. And I, I don't have a problem with myself or I, I love myself and everything. It's just you, you, every human being, when they talk, they know that that's them right now talking and they have a feeling. You have a feeling for your character and for who you are and whatever. That's just what, what's with me right now. I do not have any feeling for it. I do not have any. I I remember I'm I have memories and I know what mm -hmm. I did but I don't have any connection or feeling with it. I don't have any connection or feeling with myself. Like if I look at my hands, it's just really weird. If I look at myself in the mirror, if I see myself here, it's just really weird. Or if I hear my voice, but it I don't let that affect myself anymore. It's just it's just a lot of work and it takes time. Lots mm -hmm. of people are really impatient with that. It, it uh, takes disorder. so much more energy trying to control everything, doesn't it? It does. It's mm. the mind goes it, crazy because you want to know is. the details of every little thing, and that's it the takes that's the so thing. Much it's energy up. It takes and way too much, and it's less energy to accept. Exactly, it is. It, it's really it's less. But sometimes you're you're during the day or whatever. It, it still comes through stronger where you feel kind of a little bit panicked again. Mm -hmm. But then, then you have to just, it's just a constant calming and accepting, telling your mind, I accept my situation. That's the first step to recovering in any case to accept what happened to you or what's been happening yes. or whatever. When you feel like that, um, I also want to offer you the idea of just allowing yourself to take a very deep breath because that yeah. would stop you in your tracks <laughs> if, when you do that yeah. and allow your brain to have that much more oxygen so it can relax a little bit <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing I've noticed with my children they'll be like arguing back and forth sometimes my children and I say you know guys take a deep breath and when they mm -hmm. take that breath it, it's like it takes their mind it allows them to, to to relax, and their heartbeat that's racing out of anger starts to relax, and they come down a notch, a couple of notches. Yeah, you know? because so it's, we human beings we breathe all the time, and we don't even realize we breathe. So when we do breathing <laughs> exercises, 
it tells your brain, it, it stimulates your brain and everything because you feel alive. But you mm -hmm. don't realize that. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're coming through so much clearer and so much more presence about you. You know what I mean? You're just, you're very focused, but you're very open. And that's beautiful, Naomi. Yes, it's gorgeous. Thank you. You guys too. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Yeah, any time, just like I said, to just get out here and to share and to open up because that, it's a self-empowerment, you know. We feel it. We we give it to another. We smile. The smile is what really, yes. walking down the street and total strangers, sometimes just a smile will not only open up their heart and, just, and many of them might smile back, but also it makes you feel better. Yes. Good job. Like, just give yourself a big smile and feel it. A what? Give yourself a big smile and feel oh, yourself yeah. that all at that point. I just feel how said, different you are. I thought, I thought you, you said big smile. I say smile. <laughs> you can roar or hiss, whatever yes, you Yes, you can roar or hiss or do <laughs> anything you like. But just, just do like, wow. In that <laughs> a pirate. <laughs> Is that an opportunity? No, 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 no. Can you yeah. can you roar? Or do you want to hiss? Yes. All right, guys. I have to get ready, like almost ready for work. But thank you, really. Thank you very much for just like listening and for sharing, and yeah. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. That group does great things to people and world and just you know, always watching you right now you know nobody would say like you have any issues at all so I'm I know just, all in all I know. So what, I'm, what I'm saying is like it's, how it's funny how about it's if you so try funny. to focus your energy like this you know the state that you are in if you can be in this state now that means you can be in this state later and forever so be yeah. in the state that you are in and just continue on because you can do it. You can control everything. See, like right now, I mean, you are... You're shining much brighter. Right. <laughs> I, I, I know it's, it's funny because I can function totally normally and people would never guess what's going on with me. Like, it's, it's crazy how what's mentally going on, but I'm... I'm not showing that, and I'm just not letting affect my life anymore. Right, so then live like it's still it's still frustrating life. sometimes because you just want to get better, kind of you just want to feel okay, and but I feel okay. Also, it's just, yeah, you know, I just want like, to how you are saying you want to feel okay and this and that. Just I feel okay. I, I feel okay, and I'm right. grateful and I'm happy. I just want to feel Naomi again. I just want to be able to feel myself hold again. On, hold, on, hold on. Let me, let me, like, you know, when you say, I want to feel like, just don't think that way. Think that I am Naomi. I am okay. And I am, you know, like, be in the I am presence. Yeah. Instead of saying that I want to feel, say I am. Just like mm -hmm. the, 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 the place that you are in right now. And if you continue on doing that, most probably it will help. And also... One thing that I can recommend you is like whenever you see of yourself, see yourself as the person who was just completely fine and all before you had that panic attack that you were talking about, right? Before you had any sort of issues. Think of that Naomi. Go back to that and live that moment and see yourself as that Naomi, not the Naomi that you are now. Constantly visualize that Naomi that was before that you love that you felt that one with Naomi. Just visualize, keep on visualizing that, and your yeah. body That's can heal yourself. Because I still can't connect to it. I can't connect to just who I am yet. But I'm on my way there. The thing it's not is what that others, happened to me. And it's not always about what others think. It's because we can't. Oh no, I don't them. care at all what others think. It's, no, right. it's just, you being with you because. Yeah. That's the love, is falling in love with ourselves. Mm. Oh, definitely. But the because thing is that what what happened to me, uh, I think it had to happen to me, to my life. It, it's been 
it's been really tough since what happened and sometimes I just wish like I could turn back time but I know it had to happen to me because if not I think my life would have gone a really different route and it's just an experience so, that's all it is right. see it as yeah. not right or wrong good or bad judging this or that it's just an experience in the moment that's all it right. is exactly. learning from it yep but no this experience judgment. like changed me the in my only life judgment, only things that judgment it only comes from yourself really because we're the ones that are judging more than anyone could ever judge it's that's the me. ego that's not you I really yeah. totally believe in that's the ego everything ego is more in survival it's about survival the heart comes from the unconditional that's the love loving yourself but and connecting do you know do you know like how we live like we just live and then for example if if we feel like I'm not doing this right now in my life and I'm not doing this and I don't have enough money but for this still it makes you feel like you're you're, not you're, you're wasting your life or your time or whatever no, but no, just no. just right. being is always enough in life exactly. just like but we right. people don't understand that. We think we have to do this. We think we have to do you a world mission. To be doing or something. Or, uh, yes. Stuff like that. I totally believe this is, this is not us that tells us we're not good enough or. That's or your thoughts of what. It's the society. It is the culture the, that, yeah. that has been put upon us. That's why. Mm -hmm. I'm told That's that, that, too. that too. That, that yeah. you have well, to. Alright, guys. Going. Sorry. I really have to go. But, uh, much love, Naomi. Thank you. Yes, so much. love. I love you. Oh, I love you guys too. Much Thank love. you so much. Yeah. Have a good day. Peace to everybody. Thanks. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> okay, you know how I was saying before the message was let them feel loved? So yes. I feel loved now. Aww. <laughs> Aww, yeah. Because you love my daughter, I feel loved. So thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit. I'll be right back. Thanks, okay. guys. Thank you. <laughs> She's a sweet girl. Hmm. Very good. A lot of wisdom and knowledge flowing. Yes. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. So, how's your language, is Prana? Coming there? <laughs> My language, uh, I haven't practiced it much. But I need ha -ha, kutu, ha -ha, language. Osako sono krokota rakasana, rakutu sono harakana sono. So we are not speaking the same language. <laughs> I'm speaking Pleiadian, you are speaking most probably. What is that? Hungarian mixed with something. Yeah, I, mine's like that sometimes too. I'm not sure if it's a like a mixture of, of languages. You have to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I have to interrupt in English, but that, that first word you said that zing that was amazing. I don't know what I said, but you guys can interpret it. Whatever it was, it was I also noticed that sound, yeah. 
Yeah, that sound was amazing. I've never done that before. I have no idea what that is. If you guys can interpret it, that'd be cool. I know, I know Jim can interpret some of that stuff, some of the languages. Yeah, it's quite a mix. Carry on, Miney, sorry. No, I was just saying, there's quite a mix of languages here now. Yeah, well, um, there's also Lyrans that would live in the Pleiades, Lyrans that would be with the um, Andromedans, things like that. So all of the languages would be mixed up because of their position in the solar system and their galaxy and everything like that. Yeah, because sometimes I hear, like, when somebody is speaking Arturian, I hear a little bit of, like, you know, Lyrian or Pleiadian, some words from there. Yeah. Well, Lyrans like don't... Some Arturians are say, so bird-like. <clears throat> well, the Lyrans don't really have a, a specific place that they're from anymore. They just live everywhere. Because of um, some... I can't... I cannot recall at this moment but something that happened to their their original planets. I think they got attacked or something, but now they're living everywhere. Yeah, the Lyran race, I believe, I don't think it's Takur, was talking about how when the reptilian races came, the Lyran had a very peaceful planet or colony, I believe it was. And then the reptilians came and was very curious about their peacefulness but there was a great Lyran it was a great war long ago I don't know how many you know probably millions of years ago hundreds of thousands of millions of years ago but um after the wars they were like they spread out they branched out in the galaxy different parts of the universe you know and beyond I have a feeling that the reptilians were around before the Lyran yeah, that's a possibility. It's like, because you look at the evolution of the reptile, you know, it is, they were long, here long before man, mankind. And, and it's women. the same with the insects. If we go yeah, by, next, yes. If we go by our history, yes. or what we believe to be our kind of evolutionary steps, the insects were around far before everyone else. Yeah, that's true. So, Even through, you know, science and stuff can show that, definitely. So you could see if if we up we look at the stars at night, the evolutions of those planets, you know, looking out, you know, th hundreds of thousands, millions, maybe some billions of years ago, you can see the, you know, the diversity of insectoids and repti you know, reptoids, you know, just different types of, of energies that can, you know, they're hundreds of thousands or millions of years advanced more than us and you know their technology some of their their sciences their spirituality a little bit you know what I mean but yeah. the thing about the spirit thing is that the spirit came first and the spirit is universal it's more the galactic you know it, it's the the energies that we are in a, a less what you call a higher vibration and so when we incarnated most of us, when we take on other forms and other bodies, we are coming down in vibration a little, you know? Yeah. We're not, we're nowhere near our true, our true self. Because our bodies cannot hold that much intensity of that, that light, that vibration, all That's at once. That's why we split out yes. into many So fragments. it's fractal, yes, yeah. it's fractal energy. It, it's, it's, um, it, it's like a, um, like there's diff many different types of uh, aspects of ourselves, dimensions of ourselves, fractals of ourselves. So yes. Yeah, it's, it's like trying to fit six personalities into one body. It's, <laughs> there not, you really, go. <laughs> it's not really a, a wise idea, is it? Nah, it's just too much to handle for the body. Yeah, that's, that's probably that's probably one of the, the things that a lot of channelers have to kind of cope with, is having that many personalities coming through. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I've noticed that with um, the reptilian ones because the reptilians are very strong. Yes. Um, but so are the Lyran. Lyrans come through very serious and strong. In, at least, in at one, least my one does anyway. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that, and in the one, the beauty of that is that a lot of the, the connections, a lot of things that we used to fear and read about, 
about the reptilian races is what's wonderful about that now is that they're coming through different channels, through languages, to show them different, show us different aspects that we don't have to fear, you know, as a humanity. We're starting to become more used to the ideas of what yeah. these energies are, what they represent, how they've been here for thousands or millions of years, to give us, give us a greater perspective of appreciation of who they are and what they are. They're aspects of us also within us from their DNAs. So yes, it's in our DNA and the mixtures over the, you know, the the evolutions of this of these worlds. So yes, definitely, it's brilliant. Beautiful. Yes, how we'd be if we were born with cold blood. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more. Um, I guess no. I guess the the blood doesn't really make a difference. It just means that they can't no. really they can't really get too too hot or yeah. too cold. Yeah, no, too cold. They're free. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess. That won't really make so much of a difference. It's all about chemicals in the brain and who their personality actually is, what their soul fragment is, and so many things to take into account. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the main problems with being multidimensional, is you see so many different sides of things now. Yes. And here's the thing. Every individual, every individual on this planet has their own perspective of reality and how they see things because everyone has different experiences so everyone's going to see it a little slightly different our different points of view and that's what's wonderful about the diversity and not even only in this planet but also in the galactic in the different planets and you know universes and out there and the multiverse is what we call it, the cosmos that holds it all you know so it's beautiful always expanding also Well, every time we think, we're creating a whole new universe. Yes. It's like a ripple, throwing the, the pebble in the water and just let it ripple, the ripple effect. So us just talking like this is expanding into the collective, you know? Yeah, we're just, we're just spiders on the web of life waiting for the little information flies to come down. And, <laughs> and we, it. as individuals, sometimes don't feel that one person can really make a difference on the planet? Yes. Well, you need to throw the stone to be able to cut, make the ripples. Yes. So you're putting yourself out there. And also, what many of us is allowing ourselves to be in our vulnerability. Vulnerable. To feel vulnerable. To find out, is it really that bad? It's just, it's just our interpretation or our perspectives. So as our vulnerability is really allowing ourselves to be ourselves with ourselves, because through that that perspective, we realize that there's really nothing to fear, because we're allowing ourselves to be in the moment. You see. And we realize that man, we're you know we're, I don't know the whole thing's I'm just so fascinating with the with this. This uh, multi-dimensionality, and um, I'm starting to see things sometimes at the corner of my eye and my uh, peripheral vision. I'm starting to pick up like, yeah, like I think someone's there, you know. But like nothing's there when I turn my head and look. You That's because you're turning your head. <laughs> they don't like it when you turn your head. They just <laughs> like you they just like to let you know that they're there. Yeah, yeah. You feel them there. You have a sense that they're. There. That's that's your ticket to go. Okay, now I can tune into that. Yes. Bring yeah. them into your your universe. Yes. And pick up a glass of water and cheers to them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bring where I am for them. you. <laughs> all right. I think a, it would be. Yeah. I think it would be quite amazing to see yourself as the young lady did. She sees herself as a complete sidestep and observer. Yes. She knows she is different. And you know, I think what that is is like her other uh, yeah. other self trying to come in 
Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, I mean, how we have uh, different parallel realities. Mm -hmm. I wonder if one of her, one of herself from a different parallel reality is within her and observing her in this reality. That could be a situation, yes. That's a possibility. It's really good friend. Different aspects of herself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because that aspect wanted to experience something in this life or something and so is wanting to come through her to experience that moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, did you see her face, the excitement and the joy? It became yeah. light. Yes. Right. It became light. light after we began speaking with her, especially after all the negative speaking that she was doing at the, at the beginning. She just started to brighten up and brighten up and brighten up. And I've never noticed that when speaking with people. And this is my first time noticing it happening in front of me. Like, that's beautiful. Your spirit connects with theirs. And that's what happens. You uplift each other. You empower each other. That's yeah. what happens. You pull each other magnetically. It's like a magnetic force, but it's a it's allowance. It's a it's yeah. the love energy. It it, it, it mm. it's like it pulls you, it draws you near. And that vibration, people love balance. Mm -hmm. That's what it brings, balance. Yes. Beautifully done. And if anything, you know, I would say if I were her, I would like just instead of thinking that, oh my God, I have a problem or this is not me, I would just observe, well, I mean, again, I mean, I'm not in her brain, so I don't really experience the trauma or what she feels, but I think I could take this, as, if I were her, I would take it as a very, very unique experience mm -hmm. to understand life and to understand things which no other people have mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity to do. So instead of being in fear, she could turn that into an awesome opportunity and see from that viewpoint and mm -hmm. start enjoying every single moment of it rather than being a victim of it. You know what I mean? Right. When she has Instead allowed of, yeah, someone yeah. to tell her something negative about that aspect of her and we have allowed her to hear something positive about that aspect of her. Right. So, um, so, like I mean, she, she changed. Like I she, think she's going to keep that awareness within herself. Right. That it could be something positive. Uh -huh. Yeah, and also like you know, she was saying she feels like she's high all the time. I mean, that is kind of like blissful state, I believe. And maybe, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe you know, she doesn't realize or she's not understanding that aspect, and so she sees that as as fear. And she's watch, she's turning all that positive energy and uh, looking at it from the fear base. Whereas, if she turns it around and sees the beauty of the bliss and from the state of that blissfulness, mm -hmm. if she sees things, I think she would have a much profound experience. Mm -hmm. I feel. That's I all. think she's about to have a much profound experience. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah. The first. The first group of people who told her, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's about to have a great experience. <laughs> and you know, the other thing is like, how will people label if, if they have never ever experienced anything like that before? Like, let's say, for example, if she's going to a doctor or a psychiatrist, they have no clue. They don't even believe in this kind of thing. So for no, them. They don't. All they know is like how to label, how to give her medicines, and how to control or mask what because is happening. They haven't but gone through reality, it. Though. But in reality, something else of much higher dimension and something profound could be coming through. You know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and for her to believe on the label that she was given, mm -hmm. and what the society tells her, and what she sees in the society, you know, she needs to ignore that and uh, just look inside her and experience the, the things that she's experiencing. Right. 
Yeah, and that's that's the challenge sometimes is getting into our vulnerability, that which we fear to look at our fears, our doubts, our worries. And so for, mm -hmm. for her, she's starting to face it, which is wonderful. Yeah. It is challenging. It really Beautiful. is. Beautiful. Okay. Any other languages? I'm still on the fact that I have a new one, or it could be a continuation of the old one, which is fascinating. Yeah. Kura katana hasa hi kitana ku kar katana puhu. What can I see? See katana. See, I uh, it is not flowing. Karatoto rokasa na karata da da kusu no hora kata na karato no kuro hoa na sana kato ta 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 kuro hunu su no kuro ta 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 ro hoa na rasa no kuro. I'm not sure if that's what's said. I kalo kotu chika da inna sa katika rala kotu kotu tiak te te si katika. Inna kalak chika tu tu, minga katia katika kea, unsa katia kolo kati chuchu katia, unsa katia oso tu chu tia kakaha, kika loko tu tika pakatsa kea, unla katia, unsa kaya kako, kisi kara kapakwa tia kachika tu daya kotu, pakasiti kanya raklak tu chika pakakake, sakatia kako. Brian, do you know like what language is that at least or no? Gabriel, can you help me? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Between Laren. I'm not sure. Pladian? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Pladian, Laren? Uh -huh. It seems mixed, right? Yeah, you, like a mixture. You're like a si sim samurai. Yes, I feel like you should be dancing and stomping your feet at the same time. <laughs> I don't feel that. While, while speaking. Yeah, like there's I a feel... hand motion or something. Yeah. I, I, I am. Sorry. You don't see Sorry. my hands appear. I am actually doing it. <laughs> it's fascinating. I'm just like letting it come through. Yeah. Sorry. It's like more natural for me. Yeah, hey, Brian, I, I, I you're... imagine you... Dancing with the snakes while you listen to that. No, you ever seen the people from um, the the New Zealand indigenous people? I think they're from. You ever I, seen I, that I, movie? Uh, what is it? The one about the lake, the girl with the whale. Um, Free Willy. Free Willy. No, not Free Willy. No, 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 no. I think. Oh, not the new Simone. one that came out. Yeah. Something about like a couple of years back, or there's like I know I've seen the previews of that movie. I haven't seen the movie though. Yeah, there's a tribe there, okay. and they have, you know, their warrior Maori dance. What? The Maori. Is that what they're called? I think so. I think they're the, the, the warrior type dance, <clears throat> and they're stomping and they're slapping their chests and their tongues come out and it's scary looking and they want it to be scary. I feel like <laughs> you should be doing something to that nature while you're speaking that language. Yeah, the um the New Zealand rugby team use it as a like a starter chant. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The exactly. drum is very powerful. It's a very a very powerful beat, the drum. Wasn't that yeah. movie called Whale Rider? Whale Rider, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, that was Whale a beautiful Rider. movie. Beautiful, beautiful movie. movie. You should I'll watch it. it. Yeah. I recommend it. Thank you. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. It's beautiful. very slow. It's very slow, and it's about a um, it's about a, a family who's the only surviving person to inherit the position of whale rider is a girl instead of a boy. Oh and wow! Yeah, and that's that whole just the position of you know. Yeah. What men can do and what females can do. Yeah, in their culture, it's, it's in very interesting. It's very hey, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, I have yeah. a question for you. I have a question for you. Um, yeah. So when you are speaking this language, do you feel like you are on a side, or do you feel like it's more of a download, or how do you feel? I mean, how does it come to you? At first, I feel like I'm in control of it, and then I just start to let go, and then it really comes through. 
Okay. So like when like when Gabriel or some people start speaking it, I little I just start it because I feel it's myself, and then I start to let go, and I close my eyes because when I I, I like, because when I open my eyes, it's hard for me to even just to initiate it to focus a little bit. So when I close my eyes, I'm really starting to focus, and then I can let go more. You know what I mean? And right. Then and I start to feel like that pull, that push. Right. Do you hear it or like do you not hear it? No, I don't hear anything. Yeah, I, I don't hear anything. It just comes oh, through. Right, got it. Okay. So Brian, some, maybe you know, I can like you said, it's different for each individual. So yes. No. Maybe I can practice with you because I don't want maybe won't feel so intimidated. But um, what happens with me is I'm at the stage where I get the first sentence. And then I don't close my eyes and let go, and then I start to think about what I'm saying, <laughs> and then it sounds so silly, and then I get embarrassed. That's sort of where yeah, I'm at. Right, yeah, right there, because then you just stop yourself when you start exactly. to Exactly. Embarrassment is just a tool yes. so we can learn to get over it anyway. So don't, yeah. don't, don't worry that you feel embarrassed. Just embrace the embarrassment and laugh it off. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been there too. I, I when I first joined Thank here, you. Yeah. Colony, I was like, yeah. man, I was like the, these these languages sing some kind of silly, like they're making that. Yeah, exactly. They make you laugh. <laughs> and that's but, they like, yeah. they, and they're then not reconnecting with our inner children. Yeah, when we get confirmation from other channeling, and you're starting to let it flow more and let go of the fears, the worries, the doubts, and you, and you're letting go of the of the control, then I realized there's something there's something here. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely. I, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'll I practice I'm, with I'll, you, Sophia. I'll, we'll do some yeah. like private one-on-one. -on -one. I think that'd be cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm gonna be back soon. I just, I'm, I, I kind of jumping in off and on at the moment, but I'll be back soon. Uh, yeah, okay. I have to get You're off good. here too. Oh, stuff. you have to get off. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love Maybe you guys. We'll see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your kindness, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's. I love you guys too. We love you, brother. Everybody here is saying goodbye, brother. Love you. We love you, Phil and Naomi. I would I would I would do some sexy words, but this is live. Oh 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 my goodness. I'll have to keep it rated PG-13, so. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, later, guys. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just back. should uh, put on the Hukulu chat to Amun because H Hukulu main channel is uh, the Earth, picture of the Earth, so I made it uh, Hukulu chat to be the moon. Cool. Blue symbol. Cool. Okay. Nice. Wait, is everybody leaving or what? Yeah. What do you think about that? That the main hukul channel is the Earth and the hukul chat is the Moon. I think it's a good idea. Pro profile yeah. picture. I like it. But it it can't change because I'm already in here. But I stopped the transmission now. Oh, you did. oh no, it's still live. It shows still live. Yeah.